Bro, eight Cheetos in chat right now. Wait, that's really funny. Man, your video sucked, dude. Do you wanna do you wanna have a conversation, eight Cheeto? Hello? Yo, hello. This is a Cheeto, oh, right? Oh, it's echoing. Oh shit. You gotta turn off your uh, gotta turn off the actual. Alright. What's up? How's it going? Hey, real quick, what are your pronouns? Uh the he him. Ah, sick. The classics, I see. Breaking yeah, out the I'm, classics. I'm old school like that. Old school. Wait, so why All did right. you think well, I hey, was like why wait? Why do you think I was like thirty? I am nineteen. I don't know why. No, oh, nobody I don't believes know. that. I just, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh, I don't know. I guess it's just I don't, I don't know many, many uh, nineteen-year-old YouTubers. I guess. Why did you think I was twenty-five? Is it because my skin know. is that radiant? Yeah, I yeah. guess so. Yeah, damn. So yeah, you had a lot to say about my appearance and not much else, bro. What's that all about? Did you, you have a problem like engaging with ideas and you just choose to engage on like, uh, like low level insults or something? Yeah. So you actually said that uh, I roasted. You said, you said in the stream that I said that you looked fat, which I, I didn't do. I think you said um, go get a burger. And I think you said that I looked ugly. Yeah. Something along those lines. Yeah. yeah maybe, you burger, did, maybe you didn't literally well, call me fat, but okay. you know, you did basically the same thing. So. So are you are you like trying to deny that you were insulting my appearance? Because like, come on, man, it was obvious. Your heart. So well, no, 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 okay. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. If I actually <laughs> wanted to deny something, I would, I would, I would deny it. But I, I'm literally saying, okay. like, yeah, I, I roasted the the haircut, the piercings, and um, yeah. what's and wrong with my piercing? Can you though? explain me? What's wrong with it? On the lip. Cool to me. Well, it kind of looks like you just got like um like a fisherman just kind of like got you, you know. Yeah, totally. That's why you put a gem on it, because fishermen love to sh to fish with gems. By the way, do you mind? Uh, do you want to post face? Because I think what? my audience would absolutely love to see what your face looks like. Since you did a lot of time, you spent a lot of time like insulting mine. I literally didn't though. Like you're just uh, making that. I up. don't know, man. You had a nine minute video, and like a good solid one minute was insult was was devoted to. That's like a tenth, more than a tenth of the video. That's just bro. not true. That's just crap. <laughs> I don't know, man. We all just watched it. Yeah, uh, I did too. Anyway, Literally. so why, what? What's your? What's your? What's your? Uh, so yeah, you said I was like what? You said that. I was like the. Well, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to it. You because you you're just like lying. My... Like you're saying I spent most of the video roasting your face. Like that's just I not. I didn't true, say. But... I didn't say that you said most of it. Now you're lying. I said you you spent a good chunk of it. Okay, a good chunk, which is accurate. Which is yeah, wrong, it's funny. So. It's funny how you had to lie about no, what I said still in wrong. order to try and make it seem like I was a lying. good chunk. It's still wrong. Yeah, it's all right. We got the clip. We all know. We all watched the video. The video's up on the internet for everyone to see. You guys can go see it. We, could, we just watched it right now. Anyway, uh, uh, like I said, post face or shut the fuck up. Uh, no, his face reveal was fake. We already saw yeah. that. because uh, You know the guy who did that, the, that, my like, face reveal? You know he's actually autistic? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, that, he was, uh, that, that he was offended by my uh, autism video, I guess. Nah, that's my boy. Yeah. That's simple, Okay. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm I'm sorry that he felt offended by that, but uh, no, or did, maybe I'm he didn't. Saying, maybe he doesn't funny. have any connection. I guess I'm kind of jumping to a conclusion that he makes. Yeah, bro, don't him, don't. But... He's not catching strays, bro. He didn't. Don't get him involved. Come on. Well, I mean, to be fair, you let him take a bullet for you when you talk about other people's appearance, and then you hid behind him and his appearance. <laughs> no, it's well, literally wait, a meme. Mean, no. like, I... Wait, what do you mean? It's wait. literally a meme. Post face. Where can we see pictures of you? Well, what's up with the whole post face thing? Like, I'm well, wait, wait, hold I, I've on a second. I've been public that I'm wait. doing that at 400k subs. Like, I'm not hiding anything. I'm just doing it oh, when I hit 400k. Oh, so it's it's behind 400k. You won't you won't show. You'll make fun of other people's appearance without showing your own appearance. But uh, but you know, you, you you make somebody else take the shots for you. Is basically what you're saying. Your poor friend. Uh, what did you say his name was? Roy. No, John. That's, that's my boy. Oh, Oompaville. Sorry, sorry. I thought you said something else. So yeah, so you know, I guess it's an impasse on this one. You're gonna hide behind other people, and while you, you know, do shit talk to other people. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so wait a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm really interested. You came by here. You came by here to talk with me. Uh, I assume you wanted to talk more about the autism gender thing, right? Or, or is that um, a mis is that a misassumption? Were you done? Did you no, I mean, someone. I mean, little, dude, someone just sent me the video. Someone was like, oh, dude. She's watching you live, and I was like, oh, shit, really? And I go back, and I'm like, oh, okay, you watched the video. I watched, like, five minutes of reacting to it, and I was like, I just typed Joe Biden. Like, I was like, okay, I'll call you for a bit. Like, I don't really care. Though, I mean, I don't cool. know. I mean, you, you seem to get, like, really, um, and this might just be, like, your audience. Like, you're, you're, like, very in, like, the politics side of things. 
where it's like yeah, I'm a political streamer. Yeah. Okay. Well, I okay. So yeah, and you were like that probably makes sense. Like you were like really trying to analyze like all of my videos. Like I made like yeah, I made some points, but like I threw in like like so many memes. Like I was just like trolling. Like I I put in oh, oh, like so a. So basically what you're saying is I, I should have like treated you with soft gloves because uh, when you make a video saying that I'm like the most cringe person and that my opinion was bad, that. I just shouldn't, that, uh, uh, I, I just, uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't actually think about the words that you say. I should just, you know, No, you should just them. laugh at the memes that I post when I post memes and roast well, they when, weren't I funny, when I say though. something cringe. Okay, that's fine. They, they weren't funny and I did roast every cringe thing that you said. So it's kind of weird. I don't know really what you're whining about at the moment. Uh, cause that's exactly what I did. But it sounds like you want me okay. to like ignore the fact that you were wrong about things and that you made bad arguments. Okay. Well, uh, the, one of the arguments that I made, which the, you like half agreed with, which I thought was funny, which was the fact that I said that gendering things helps us in our society, which like it obviously fucking does like, come on now. Oh, I don't you think agree, it does. You disagreed with that. Yeah, and then yeah, I gave I the example of a, of, a, of a clothing store, and then you had this terrible response of saying that, oh, society conditioned you into wanting to wear these things, whereas my counter would be, no, Society didn't just man. condition you. Society forces you. Okay, excuse me. I'm, I'm trying to actually like, get through right, something. No, I just wanted I, to make sure you were saying the right thing. No, society wasn't forcing me to do anything. Uh, genetically, I am taller than a lot of my counterparts, uh, mostly female, and I also have wider shoulders, uh, and I have a male build, which makes it so that certain fabrics that are cut a certain way, uh, you know, are more comfortable and... Stretch in there, my yeah. man. You're really stretching there. You're saying that you're saying it's your genetics that makes men's clothing more comfortable to you? Like, the cut of men's clothing has nothing to do with genetics. It has to do with style. There are no. men who wear tight-fitting clothes all the time. There are men who specifically uh, who, who go out of their wa way to buy tailored clothes. When you go to a Walmart and there's a men's section and a women's section, the men's section has boxy t-shirts because that is what is our, what is a style that our society tells us is like what men do. They don't want something tailored most of the time. But that's obviously not the case all the time because tailors, me tailored men's suits are insanely popular. So like, I feel like you're kind of barking up the wrong tree by saying it's your genetics that determines why you, you bought a Minecraft shirt from the boys department at Walmart. Uh, okay, so I don't even know what you're trying to say at the end of that, but I'm, I'm just saying that basically like, regardless of style, which I would say styling is not necessarily the, um, like the cut, which it can be, but I mean, style can mean, like, mean anything, right? You can talk about like logos, graphic designs, whatever. I'm saying that, yes, there is a certain um, blueprint that is followed when making men's clothing and a certain blueprint that's followed when making women's clothing. And that's because of the genetic predispositions that form common no, male and female body types. No, my man, it is not because of genetics. And also, when you say there's a blueprint, that is like the biggest, that is like the biggest simplification I've ever heard. Yes, when you go into a Walmart, almost all of the shirts that you're gonna buy in a Walmart are going to be unisex cuts, which means they are not tailored. They are designed for anybody to be able to wear, men, women, anybody, uh, anybody in between, uh, even autism gender people. Um, and for real. Like, yeah, for real. Um, uh, and uh, uh, what's funny about that? Uh, no, I, was, I mean, you're just being quirky. It's, I found it funny. I don't know. Is I laugh sometimes. I put in memes. I laugh. I know that that's kind well, of funny. No, I was just really asking. I was just asking funny. if it was like a nervous that's laugh like or if it was one of those forced laughs that come when you have like, you know, like a like a encephalitis or something like that. You know, people laugh forcibly. I was wondering if it was, you know, what you thought was funny about that. Oh, okay. So it was just a nervous laugh. Were, were, oh, were you were um, asking? No, I mean, I, yeah, I, thought, like, I thought was it was directly, funny. I directly said, yeah, okay. So, Dude, you're wait, fucking you... 32, like, humor subjective. People laugh randomly, okay, like... Oh, no, like, I was just asking. I was just, I, you are know, Are you a I serious a person? Right like, do you want to engage the arguments? Or are you going to, like, try to get me on nervous laughter? Like, what the fuck do you... Like, oh, no, I was, I was asking dude? why you, you kind of did, like, an anime laugh. And so I was wondering if there was something I said that was particularly funny to you. And it was funny because you said you even did... autism gender and, like... Yeah. I, I don't take that very seriously, so I found it oh, funny. Oh, so why Joke don't you take it seriously? I mean, d you, you fucking watched my video, like... Yeah, and your argument sucked. Your, arguments was, your argument was what I just was talking about, which was that apparently you believe that Walmart tailors yeah, and, and you, shirts and you hold, to your like, genetics. You, you, yeah, and you hold, like, the actually, like, ridiculous take that, like, oh, it's style. Like, what? 
It's well, not ridiculous style. about that. I don't understand what you're trying to say there. You're telling me it's that you don't. Style. You don't. Like, wait, you're telling me that you don't clothing. think. Okay. You're saying that when you when when clothing is designed, that it's not designed primarily for style. Do you think that men? It's designed have, to Do you fit. think that men? What the fuck wait, are you talking about? Do you think that men have always worn? Uh, like uh, like khakis and Hawaiian shirts, or do you think that over time uh, we have developed? Okay, you're talking certain about something styles? different. Oh my! No, God. I'm not. Okay. I'm talking you're, about yes, exactly you, what you're yes, talking about. Yes, you are. It's not settle my fault down, that you can't keep down. up. Don't you dare tell me to settle down, man. You're getting a little carried away. Okay, you're talking about khakis. Khakis have nothing. The khakis are like a material. It's a style. It's a color. It's 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 a. Thank you. It goes with well, that's other what I just said. I literally okay, just said that it's you about styles. It as a, you as just a admitted my off point. point. Ah, ta, 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 ta. Okay. Don't, you're, that you're is using so it as a jumping cope. off point. That is the biggest cope I've ever heard. Trying to make like fill time by saying ah la 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 la. Like anybody could do that, man. Come on, you got to do better. No, than this. because because Come you're, on, you're being, you got to do better than this. Silly. You're being silly. You're being quite how silly, am I being okay? silly? You haven't been able to explain. You've just all that you've been able to do is come in here and mad cope. I pointed out that the clothing not design. Coping. You're not even. You you're are even... mad coping. It's okay, it's so crazy. I came in Can and I, I said, okay. "No, well, I was trying to finish an argument from before that you never oh, really no, addressed. No. You you just okay. All right, go finish? ahead. You want like, you want to make another on one? Okay, cool. Yeah. So my argument is that it's not about looks. At the end of the day, when we're talking about clothing, it's like, okay, yeah, that's part of it, but it's also the biggest part of clothing, obviously. And the reason why we have it is because it fits, right? It covers us up. I know you're pro nudity or whatever, but like, I, I don't even, I'm not equipped to you, have a are conversation, you not? okay? Are you like anti nudity? Are you like afraid of naked people? I don't, dude, I don't fucking know. Like, I'm just saying in our society, people well, wear what clothes. Is that? Wait, like, wait, are you why do you say that? stuff like that? If you don't know what that means, if you, why do you say equip if you don't know what you're actually saying? I, cause like, I, what were you trying to, what were you trying to say there? Are you anti nudity? <laughs> You were no. like, you're pro nudity, and I'm like, and what then I ask even... you a very simple question: Are you like anti nudity? Because if I'm what pro nudity, the, what does that mean? Like, like, do you think? Are you, you asking you, me if I think I should like strip that, in bro. the street, like, like I should just go, like, like frolic near like an elementary Dude, school butt naked? You like, are you asking me if that's me my what take? That means. Like, what do you? You're the one who told me that I was pro nudity, and I asked you, bro. what does that mean? Are you anti nudity? And then you went, oh, and you started scoffing like you were confused. So what did because, that mean? Okay, all right. So I'll explain it. Okay, when I say, <laughs> okay, so when I say I'm anti nudity, Man, I mean you that really I are just like struggling here, aren't you? This no, is so out of depth. We're having depth. fifty conversations at once. Like, you don't why don't you just make here. Minecraft content? That's, why don't you I mean, just do the I Minecraft? Why do you? Why it's do you? Working. Why do you got to try and like and like? You be asked me to come bro. on the stream. You called me a pussy if I didn't. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll do it. I don't care. <laughs> well, I mean, it's true. You would have been a pussy if you didn't, but but you did. So I guess I guess you got I guess you got that one. You got that point going for you. I'll give you that credit. Oh, gee, All right, thanks. So, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so okay, so you're saying that that I just want to get your argument straight so far before you said the nudity thing, which I don't know why you said that. You don't because I was know why making you said a that. point. I do, but you like cut me off and you like had like a fucking like aneurysm when I like well, wait, I, my you're, point. You're, 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 you're you don't even know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Tell so me. So I'm saying the, I'm saying the point of clothing is to cover us up because whether or not you're pro or anti nudity, we live in a society where you're expected to wear clothes. Full stop. Agree or disagree? In, yeah, the, our society does expect you to wear clothes. I wouldn't argue Rad. that and that's I'm, the. And, and, yeah, but okay, so? sure. Okay, I'm saying I'm saying whether or not I believe that like being naked is like morally or anything, which I don't care. Like, if the societal standard was to just be butt naked all the time, okay, cool, I'd rock with that. Like, I don't like sure. whatever, right? The point yeah, is, sure. is that there's like our, our, our society is like we're expected to wear clothes. I'm saying the the functionality of clothing, not the style, not the aesthetic, is to fit is to make sure that it fits and covers your body to whatever the extent society deems is appropriate. The whether or not it fits part, the functionality part, depends on whether or not you're a male or female. Full stop. Agree or disagree? Uh, no, I disagree with that. And the reason why I would say I disagree with that is because um, there are, even in a, even if we take style aside and we only do fits, there are, there's an incredible amount of variety in the type of fits that we have out True. there. So even just talking about fitting, there is capris, there are shorts, there are yeah. uh, like literal like thongs and G-strings. These, these are all kinds of different ways of covering, your, covering yourself up and them covering a certain portion of you uh, yeah. doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your genetics whatsoever. It's just what type of clothing do you want for the weather conditions? 
conditions and for your personal comfort. So like, Real. yeah, I don't so know, that's, that's just, more on the functionality argument. Like, so well, it, I want to get into that to me because like, you're actually saying that there's um there's it's more about style, which it is true actually. There's a lot of different stylistic adaptations when using the thing that I said, and I said this and you got very caught up in this, and I said there's a blueprint, right? Yes, there's a wide variety, but they all stem from a similar base blueprint, which is true. I like, don't think that's true. I don't think okay. that's true. Like, I don't uh, think you have evidence to make that claim. Like, I, in fact, I think that that's almost absurd to say. If you're telling me that you think that Walmart, The Gap, all of the sub companies that they contract to make their clothes that they buy from like a hundred different people, there's like Fruit of Loom, you're telling me they all operate from like a single blueprint? No, they don't. They operate from no- well, when, from Hold like, on, when I say blueprint, I do you operate... think I mean like an actual blueprint or like an idea? Because I'm saying more of an idea. Well, I'm not saying there's like there's like a, there's like a the patty patty idea. secret fact, formula. Okay, that's just wrong. Well, I mean, it's, that's just, what you're just. I mean, I don't know why you walk would, into any well, store right well, now. I don't know why you would say it. I don't know why you would say a blueprint if you. But they don't all look similar. They do. Okay, yeah. No, you they do. If you they, that's unlucky. Do you want me to just like I can literally turn my camera and show you my closet full of clothes if you really want me to? Like that's like such a stupid thing. Because you're not following the blueprint because you don't make clothes. You're not even arguing with no, what I'm no, saying. No, no, you, you you're like, oh, you want to see my drip, a drip check? Like what? Yeah, we should do a drip check. You could then you could show <laughs> no, us what you look like, so we could see for oh, sure what you were no. talking about. Why uh, yeah, you're you more focused do, on what I look like than I am on what you look like? I, I genuinely. Uh, I don't like... know about that. You made the video in the first place. My video was just a very yeah. It was very about calm... autism, gender. It wasn't yeah, about look yeah. at this person Wait. on the screen and look how funny yeah, they look. I said one small thing. Yeah, I did so It wasn't one small thing. It was like a tenth of your video. Like a, no, like a it solid wasn't. tenth of your video was was you uh, trying to make jokes about my appearance and stuff. Nope. No, yeah, no, no. it kind of was. And but, actually, uh, do you want to like uh, do you want to like we're, we're fact like check that? Back. Can we get the we're Joe Biden back. fact checkers on that? Like that's just not yeah. Fair. Sure, go ahead. F Joe Biden fact checkers. We got a whole lot of jo Joe Biden fact checkers in chat. Uh, but again, <laughs> yeah. it, it's kind of weird. Like we've looped back to something else. You said yeah, because you never were wait, talking wait, the no, truth about it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. One tenth of your whole video. Yeah, bullshit. You said just a few seconds ago that you believe that there is a blueprint that operates all clothes. Now, I will say, if you go to a Walmart where the, the absolute cheapest clothes you can possibly buy um, are on display, uh, and when I say that, by the way, it's really funny that you would say they operate from a blueprint when if you actually go to the t-shirt departments of the, the women's t-shirt department and the men's t-shirt department, most of the shirts there will be unisex. That is the, the type of tailoring, if you know anything about clothes. Unisex is means the more boxy cut. It's not tighter around the armpits. It's not tighter around the neck. And the reason for that is because it's meant to be able to fit any body type, male, female, in between, anything. Um, yeah, but, but, but that ties so, back to the so, claim that you said that gender doesn't benefit us. You're saying that okay, everybody, well, wait, you're, everybody, you're jumping, if everybody you're jumping, wore you're jumping, unisex. You're jumping, if, you're jumping no, way too back. far. No, I'm trying to point out to you that your idea of like a gender blueprint literally only applies and it doesn't even apply very well to a Walmart t-shirt section. If you go to a men's clothing store, if you go to a, even not a men's clothing store, but like, let's say, let's say you go to a, uh, to a, uh, like an REI or a, or a L.L. Bean or some sort of sporting goods store. The styles that you will see on display will vary drastically. There are going True. to be big, boxy, cozy shirts that are made for women. There are going to be uh, thin cut, uh, highly tailored, sometimes even skin tight uh, uh, things made for men. So the idea that there's like a single blueprint or even a single idea that all of these clothing lines are building off of is is nothing. Uh, it, okay. It's not true. Well, you, it's just, okay, you're so just you kind of made the argument it. for me. You kind of made the argument for me. You you said that like you, there's an expectation that you had when walking into a men's clothing store. If that uh -huh. if there was no expectation of what that would look like, then we'd all just be going to the Walmart unisex section. The reason that gender, in, oh, in a sense of fashion, that's benefits not us true. In society, excuse Wait, me, hold on, speaking. hold on. The reason why Go it ahead. benefits us in society is because. Like you just said, there are different stores that offer different types of expectations in terms of what you're going to get. And a lot of those are gendered. If you walk into a men's clothing store, you're expecting to see you have a, you have a rough concept of what you're going to get. Whereas if you walk into a women's clothing store like Victoria's Secret, you also have a rough idea of what you're going to get. That's because gender has benefited us in this sense. There's a reason why if, I, if, like I, like if a girl I know goes to Victoria's Secret... Like I know what she's going to get, or I have, I have a rough idea of the things that's that she's going that's to buy. That's because that's a lingerie store. That's not a women's like. clothing store. That's a lingerie store specifically. But I understand that maybe the only women's store you know of is Victoria's Secret. 
Here's, um, okay. But but nice also, what is this? What does any of this? What does any of this matter? Like, what is this saying you about me, anything? You're you're, you're, you're contesting simply, the wait, point. Hold on, hold you on. are Let contesting me finish. the point. Let me finish what I was saying. You 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 are now saying that men's and women's clothing stores exist, which I acknowledge. What is yeah. in those stores? That goes to my argument, which is to say that our society has pre-decided for us what things belong in a men's store and what things belong in a women's store. There is nothing. There is nothing that stops a a woman from walking into a men's store, finding some Something that fits her and that she likes and taking it home. In fact, they do it all the time. There's nothing stopping a man from going to a women's clothing store and buying something that they find that fits them and that, that they like that looks good on them and then taking that home. They just, we just for some reason separate these things. Um, and no, okay. it doesn't mean that, that every store would be... Now. I'm not arguing a different point. You it's are. The exact You're saying same... that they can do it. You're saying, yeah, okay. If a girl finds something she fits in a men's clothing store, she can buy it. Yeah, sure. I'm illustrating Great. to awesome. you. I'm very, You're, very we're, we're talking I'm holding, on hold on. I'm holding your hand. I'm holding your hand and trying to show you oh dear. that gender is 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 socially constructed. That that men's clothing stores contain those things not because of any genetic reason but because of the norms of our society that people okay. tell people's dads say you got to go get a suit son and put on your thigh that's that's what that's the reason the stores sell different things it's not because of fit because like i said the reason i'm just explaining my point to you the thing that i just said a woman can walk into a men's store and find something that fits and looks good in that men's store so it's not because of fit. These things exist because of stylistic differences. They exist. They exist because of social and cultural differences. Okay. So re regardless of whether or not that's what you believe, and I no, I'm no, not going to win true. you over on the genetic argument. Okay, you believe it. Great. Awesome. You think it's well, true. It's, yes, but it's... you haven't even presented a single thing other than that. What? But what, I'm not gonna... what store? Okay. Do, do you have you ever been to a store that checks your genetics before you go in? They don't. No. But we're not talking about that anymore. We're talking about the utility because that was the argument. You're asking. You made the claim that. That gender does not benefit us in society. That is your yeah, claim. Okay. Yep, that is my I'm claim. Saying, yes. I'm saying that mm -hmm. it does because regardless of whether or not you think that you can find these these uh th these cases of like people like a girl going into a men's clothing store and finding a t-shirt that she likes and wearing it awesome that's great but that's the exception to the rule you have to understand 99 percent of people don't give a shit about the fact that like oh yes there's men's men's stores and women's clothes they just go to that they go to the one that they're i guess were societally societally constructed to go to and they shut up and they don't care and it works it's awesome well I you think seem to be the one very... who did uh, no, wait, hold you, on I mean, you wait, seem wait. to. You, is, I mean, you, you this, and your you're chat, going, you're you know, going you way off onto something else. There are a. Uh, oh my God, I don't even know. Like, I feel like this is literally like I don't want to be. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to discriminate you against you for being 19. But like, if you think that women have like just go to women's stores and never have any issues, you need to like go talk to no, some women. I didn't because say, okay. it's just like I, I it's literally that. just awesome. not true. You did. You That's just awesome. said that. Oh my God. No, I'm saying they, they don't have any issues with the fact that they, they don't can't they can't find men's clothing there. Like they just you know what I'm saying. Well, who no says one goes who? into a. a... How do you, how what? would you know that? How would you ever know that? Are you fucking kidding me? You think a girl goes into a, a, a women's know? clothing store and is like, oh, damn, there's no men's clothes there. Are you high? Like, what? Wait, hold uh, on. I can th give you an example. I can give you an thing. example of exactly this. Women constantly. Yeah, dude, I'm going to walk into, wait, into wait, wait, fucking wait, wait. Like, Nike, hold on, hold on. go to the you're men's section, up. and you're I'm in the men's section, up. and you're I'm just like, oh, dude, there's no dresses there. You're starting to get emotional. You're starting to get emotional. It's okay. Because yeah, you're saying some crazy Take shit. Take a breather. Take a breather. I didn't say anything crazy. You've got a very active imagination, and I'm sure you're you're like imagining the SJW React images in your mind and all that shit. Uh, what are you talking women, about? Women what? go into, into women's clothing stores <laughs> and women's clothing sections all the time. And one of the biggest complaints about women's clothes, and I put giant quotes on that because I think the concept is very silly by and large, is that really? women's pants do not have any pockets. It's one of the biggest complaints. And in fact, one of the things that happens all the time, if you talk to some women, you will discover that this is true, is that a lot of times women will walk into the gap, they'll walk over to the men's section and they'll buy a pair of pants over from the men's section because it has pockets. It's incredibly common, in fact, that women go and wear men's pants because women's pants don't have pockets 90% of the time. It sucks, it's actually super annoying. And you would know this if you just, thought for a second instead of like, you know, jumping to conclusions and saying that like, oh, gender is, you know, the, the need for pockets or the need for no pockets is written into your genetics. That's absurd. 
It's just it's Literally stylistic decisions, bro. We're, we're not talking about pockets. Like, okay, yeah, they should put pockets on women's pants. But, like, wait a second, but that, but like, that okay, is deter- awesome. wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. We are talking about pockets because in our society, for a very stupid reason, pockets are gendered. Women's pants are sold without pockets for most of the time. It's very, it's it's incredibly common for women's pants to have fake or no pockets whatsoever. Whereas men's pants always have pockets without question. All men's pants, like jeans, etc., always have pockets. Even dress pants for men will have pockets often. It's very rare that you won't have that. Why is that gendered? Why is pockets gendered? It doesn't even make any sense. Can you even answer that question? Why the fuck is it, why is that the case? And it's true. If you don't believe me, go to Walmart, check the women's pants and, and check the pockets and then go check the men's packs and check the po okay, you're, pockets. You're literally arguing with like an invisible ghost in your bedroom. Like I literally never said that, oh yeah, dude, it sucks that like... Or it's so what? awesome that women can't get pockets on their on their pants. Like when did that's I ever not, are say Are you that? listening? Like, that's not what I said at all. I'm like you just explain ranted about to me. fucking pockets for two minutes. I am explaining a gender difference, a common, a very common, easily okay, and this, verifiable this, and, difference. And this is why. And I'm pointing the, okay, and, out. No, wait, hold on. And, don't do it yet. Wait a second. I want to make down sure to you a understand. Societally constructed definition. Well, oh mine is genetic, you, and you're right. You, Genetics does not de determine your need for pockets, and that's why, honestly, mine makes more sense because if it was about genetics, you actually then yes, can't all grasp would get pockets. You actually can't grasp what I'm saying. Like, I want you to tr really try as hard as you can. Apply all of your mental power to this, real quick. Okay? Tell me why in our society. There is that men's pants have pockets. They are that pockets have become a gendered, uh, a gendered trait in our clothing. Why men's po uh, pants have pockets and women's pants do not? Explain to me why that exists in in a way that that aligns with your worldview. Okay, so you're trying to like corner me right now on the. I'm this, not. Like, I'm thing, asking. I don't, have super, the esoteric, oh my dear God. I don't have like the esoteric oh knowledge God, on man, like you gender have nothing. pockets. I don't think you have any knowledge. I'm asking okay, you how I mean, that you, fits you, into you your worldview. The entire view. conversation too, but I to haven't. This, like, I've literally followed discussion. every. I've literally followed every single line that you've put forward. You said that you believe that ge that male and female clothes stores exist because of genetic reasons. I said That's not that what doesn't I said. make. Yes, it is. That is literally what you said. I didn't say. I didn't say the stores oh my exist God, for it's genetic the goldfish reasons. brain holy it's, shit it's, dude, it's the I... goldfish brain you just oh, you can't God. remember what you said five minutes ago no, can I, you and I'm, i literally was going to say it and then you're like oh my god the goldfish brain he he's like the goldfish guys like no that's not, obviously not what's happening i'm actually going to explain oh, it if you don't talk over me like every three seconds okay what i'm saying is i didn't I say that that's what's not happening but all right it's because of genetic reasons i said the cuts of clothing that fits because of biology yes that's true men and women are not the same are you contesting that Men and women aren't the same, but nor are men and men. Nor are that's women true. and women. That, that is true. That's, that's why I had the entire blueprint like, but, thing. Yes, they have a But the blueprint thing doesn't make any sense. This is what I'm pointing out. <sighs> there are all kinds of decisions that are made in men's styles and women's styles that have literally nothing, nothing to, do to do with st with style. Yeah, with st also like as somebody yeah. pointed out in chat. No, wait here. Let me give you an example of this real quick. I'm gonna give you a real puzzler. Okay, are you okay with me? Uh, I want to make sure that you're not gonna have like a meltdown. Are you okay with me talking about a girl who has a penis? You okay with that, bro? What? I just want to make sure you're not gonna what get. What is going you know, on right now, bro? Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question real quick. <laughs> many, many. Oh, okay, hold on, many... I'm dead serious. Give me, give me thirty seconds. I have to get, I have to get a water, bro. This is. This is Please get some water. Problem. Yeah, you, you definitely want to stay hydrated for this. I can tell that it's, uh, you know, it's keeping up with you. So go ahead. You all are so lucky, by the way. You all are so fucking lucky. No, 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 uh, a, 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 AJ, no, AJ, it's all good, AJ. After this long of a debate drought, I owe you? Yeah, nah, I don't owe you shit. <laughs> it is, Arlox. All right, we'll get there. I, I have hope. I have hope for this guy. All right, what's up? Okay, so... Hey, welcome back. Are you well hydrated? Water. 
Thank um, goodness. So dehydration. Did you know that dehydration reduces uh, mental faculties? That's probably, yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah, let's get water, some water in you and we'll I see how it goes. Yeah, do you have too. your water? Water's water's good. I do. I yeah, I actually have I actually have two I don't cups actually here. hate you. Like people think uh, that like I like I hate people. I, I don't, dude. Well, you know, okay, if you want the real honest reason, if you want to I mean, we're going to take a pause. If you want to know the real reason why people think that you hate them, it's because your videos are like you cringily freaking out at really minor things that people said and then saying that it's absurd and insane without ever actually making an argument for that. Well, like, no, I like, you, like you I don't said, know. Like I don't know how you can... like I was like roasting your appearance and stuff. Like I you made like are. one like like little like tr like yeah like little yeah. But slight. you don't show like, face. Funny. You don't show face. So shut the fuck up. Why is it relevant to anything? Would you wonder okay. why people would think that you're an asshole if you make fun of their appearance and then also don't address their arguments? Well, okay. Well, because you didn't. Like also, it's funny. You I mean, you think a video. I'm an asshole. Your chat thinks I'm an asshole. That's okay. Well, I mean, I mean yeah, like, but... I get DMs every day for people like you know smiling and shit, and they they like my shit. And it's all positive. That's vibes, very good. Right. I'm very proud of you for that. I'm very. Mama's very proud of you for that. Um, yeah, please, please don't say that. Yeah. That's my name. I can say whatever I want. Well, my your name's name Mama. Mama. Like actually. Yeah, my name's Demon Mama, and people call me DM or Mama. Yeah. Wait, your first name is Demon. I wish I had a soundboard right now. I wish I had my soundboard. I wish I could play. I got you. I got you. I got you. Good Bang rang. There you go. There's your sound. I <laughs> was not the one I would have picked, but uh, all right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, you're. I got you're you. Maybe, I got you. Don't you got, worry. You like those music stings a little more. All right, listen. Uh, people think you're an asshole because you're an asshole in your videos, and your video uh, did not address any of the arguments. It's funny that you I, picked. It like, did. We're having. A, we're having a debate right now. Clearly, we're talking about an argument I had in the video. Okay. Or not though, but whatever. Look, look. Let's just move on <laughs> okay, to the point. Yeah, let's whatever, just let's whatever, just yeah. agree that we got to go back to the point because I don't think we're ever going to agree on why people might come away with you, uh, you, you, like, like people thinking that you're an asshole. Uh, okay. Well, you so, do obviously. That's okay. I mean, I do think you're a bit of an asshole, but like I just said before you came back here, uh, I, I think there's hope for you. I think there's hope somewhere. Um, I, I do. Yeah. Here's the thing, because you um, already like profiled me on my politics. Like people, even Noah did this. You know Noah Samson. So he made this video on me. It was kind of like a hit piece, and it was actually pretty good. Like, sure. uh, like it, it, it was. Um, you know, he he had me on some things, and I actually spoke to him on a call, like just completely um off cam, and uh, we, you know, we actually agree on like a lot of issues, like and, in terms of like politics and stuff. So people always get like this thing where they think I'm like this like um right wing adjacent. You're like right wing, like um like epically owning like libs all the time and that's just like i get high off that it's like no dude well, like i it's I literally just like that, i look at like your your channel gives the impression of that i will say i literally made a, a video on stephen look. crowder like last week i think stephen crowder is like oh. a fucking um he's a silly Sounds goose like, okay yeah well i would i would describe him as something much worse than a silly goose but sure uh, yeah. I mean, I don't really care. Like, I don't really care how you self-describe. No, no, I, I just, uh, I, don't no, really no, care I, just I just wanted to bring that up. I, I know, I know. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to bring sure, that up sure, because sure. earlier in the stream, you, you, you were saying like conservatives always do conservatives. I'm just like, okay, you know, like, we're, yeah, we're, you because know, you've because, already put uh, me in that box. It's you, just like, just, just well, it's not about putting you in a box. It's about observing conservative trends. So I talk about politics all the time. I, I deal with a lot of conservatives and I deal with a lot of conservative arguments. And yeah. when you see but, a certain collection of arguments, you know, that those are conservative arguments and so i don't have any problem saying conservatives make this argument when somebody's yeah, but making just wrong, literally though. the well oh, okay. i don't know Never mind. That Never mind. no 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 you're right you're right yeah. no, no. you're saying conservatives make okay fair, fair enough yeah, yeah, but i'm not your yeah. guy like I, i'm like the boogeyman bro like go after like you know well like, but uh, like nobody you know, said get, you were gets... the boogeyman i did like a like a 30 minute 40 minute react to your video okay. on me fair enough, fair enough. Did. i didn't see the whole stream i mean you've been so i mean i could say the same thing to you i'm not the boogeyman why'd you jump on my my really chill like super compassionate autism gender video you know <laughs> i have videos where i'm like a big asshole right like i know i can admit that like i fucking i fucking roast the shit out of people sometimes same. and same. uh yeah so like i don't know what i, I don't know what you know provoked that. you to, uh, no, because it was just—it was just, bro. I'm sorry, but like autism, gender, like, come on, well, like. Okay, but wait, can you tell me what? Can you t can you remember what I said? What I like? What I was explaining through yeah, autism, so, gender? And, and I'm sure you know you'll you'll correct me. I'm saying, sure. You're, you you said that um, there are people with autism that their autism affects their life so heavily that it yep. it influences their gender identity. Yeah, and, uh, and, and if I can like sort of. That's that's pretty accurate. There's a couple little things I would add on, which is that I would that I that I would say is 
uh, that that gender is already something that is highly social. It is uh, gender is something that is very a uh, lot of gender. Even even people who are conservative, even people who disagree with my interpretation of gender, uh, uh, my overall interpretation of gender, would say that like gender has a lot of performative and uh, and. Um, you know, True, and uh, one of those things would be giving acts, girls' pants a lack of pockets. I agree. That's bad. Well, well, that's because sure. that's because these people. But but what I'm trying to say is is that uh, if gender is something that is highly social, highly performative, and highly like expressive, uh, then it makes perfect sense to me that some people uh, <laughs> who are autistic. Uh, would would say, oh my God, like my experience with gender just doesn't map with the experience that a lot of people seem to talk about because autism is a is a a, a type of neurodivergence that that strongly or uh, you know pretty majorly impacts and affects uh, how you socialize, how you express yourself, uh, all these sorts of things. Like I don't know how that's a controversial statement. I just think that's pretty blatantly true. And if that's true, then the idea that somebody could basically say, yeah, this man woman shit doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I just prefer to say, I just prefer to use the term autism gender. Like okay. I don't use so, that term personally, but I'm sure that I don't see any problem with people using it. I don't really see what's worthy of mocking it with it either. Okay, so there's what you just said, and then there's the autism gender. So when people hear things, when they hear like something just like autism gender, they're gonna make a lot of assumptions about it, and they're gonna like just hear it, and just hearing that word kind of just like autism gender, right? You you just thoroughly explained that yes, autism affects the way that people look at the world. It affects the way mm -hmm. the lens in which they view the world. It affects their gender presentation, maybe, I don't know, right? I There's that, which is true. like, that's, a, yeah, that, I mean, I, that's probably true. Um, maybe, maybe, you know, for not, not for everybody. Um, but the, the entire point is it's like, okay, there's that. And then there's just like saying autism gender, which is just like, th then it's like, I said this in my video, in order to like that word kind of assumes that both autism and gender, you, they kind of lose their meaning because you're associate. And no, I said, I and you so. can, okay, well, See, I, and the argument that I made in the video was that, is that, Autism does not fit on the male-female spectrum, which is that the word gender implies usually something sitting within that. Otherwise, you're basically opening it up to be like, and and this is going to be like a, like like remember remember when those people were like the attack helicopter thing? Do you remember do you remember that thing? Of course. It's, how it's, could I, I'm a trans woman. How could I ever forget that gets that shit gets thrown at me literally every single day? It's fucking stupid. But yeah, but also I agree with you. You have to understand so, though that there's a big difference. This really quickly? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is the last point that I'm making is that it's like that thing never made sense because it's just like, it, it's this plane, right? It doesn't fit in the male, female spectrum. So you're saying like, oh, like, like attack helicopter gender. It's like stupid, right? Cause it doesn't fit on that spectrum. Now you're saying autism gender. It's like, okay. But then you could make the same argument saying like, okay, well I'm, I've been a pilot my whole life. Right. So you're saying like, oh, like has my, me being a pilot affected the way I look at like the lens in which I view the world? It's like, like you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like well, the same line of reasoning. If it specifically it's affects stupid. your gender, I think it would be fine. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. If there was a, a, a group of people who felt like pilot gender was the way that they understood gender, I would have an, a similar approach to autism gender. I'm What I'm trying to point out here, and in fact, it's funny because you said that, you, you just said here, like people react to the word, and that's literally what I was talking about in my video, which you kind of bowled over in your video. I There's actually a part where I, I you play a clip of me saying people react poorly to that word and then you cut it there and then react poorly to the word and you don't actually listen to me going, but if you think about it for a second, it actually changes that it actually, you, you can actually make sense of it. And this is what I'm, this is what I'm trying to push back against, which is like the knee jerk reaction to just hear a word and immediately assume that you think it's funny or stupid. When I'm saying right. it might not be, people have a very real reason for doing that. But also right, but I wanted to address one thing that you said, which is this idea of a male, female spectrum. Spectrum. I don't think that that exists. And I don't think that science currently believes that it exists either. Uh, the male-female spectrum is some, is perhaps something that some people use as a sort of mental mental model for how gender works. But I just don't think that it's real. Uh, I think that most people um, exist like all over the place. If you were to draw a male-female spectrum, there are so many different types of people and so many different types of expression that you wouldn't be able to fit them on a male-female spectrum. Instead, you'd have people going all in these different directions. And I mean, what do you, how do you how do you address people who actively uh, who like actively um, 
uh, uh, like create, like for example, like androgynous models who intentionally uh, try to uh, try to agitate people, people's like like like. Uh, ability to detect male and female. Like they're doing that intentionally as an artistic statement. They're saying like, you can't tell that I'm a male or a female because that these things don't make sense. So I just don't, I don't believe that there's well, that type of yeah. spectrum. And I don't believe sure. that you have to be bound to a male female spectrum in order to have a good idea. Um, okay. I think that well, it's, yeah. Yeah, obviously, I mean like, I, I, yeah, sure. Like you don't have to, whatever. Like you don't have to think about any of that in order to like have valid opinions on anything. But the argument sure. that I was, that there's, there's two arguments that I was making. So the first one we, we kind of, you know, we, I'm sure we can get back to that after I, I we, we deal with this, which is like the wording thing, right? So you're saying that like, oh, if you think about it for a while, um, it actually makes a lot of sense, right? It's just like, yeah. okay, I guess like if you, if, if what you, if what you expect is like, okay, you, you, you take that word, uh, then think about like, okay, this, this is the line of reasoning we're using, which is that, okay, autism affects the lens in which you view the world, which could influence your gender. Okay, fine. Right. But that's, again, you've, you've already assumed that it, it's, it's about utility at the end of the day, right? It's about, it's about, it's about like language is meant to be efficient. It's meant to, to, to communicate ideas quickly strong and disagree. effectively. Yeah. I have a strong I have a strong disagreement with you on that. I don't think that that's true at all. I think that some language is designed to be communicated uh, quickly and efficiently. I think other language is meant to be accurate, uh, and I care about both of those things in their correct context. For example, uh, let me give an example. I think that uh, Morse code Morse code is a type of language that is designed to be. Uh, is designed to be very efficient. It's meant to communicate quickly across radio, very important information so that people don't die usually or something along those lines. Um, but I think that a novel, for example, this absolutely enormous book that I have here titled Dune by Frank Herbert, I love the book, uh, is this is a huge book. This is not meant to be efficient. It's meant to be accurate. It's meant to accurately portray a story and a set of emotions. And I just don't think that you can just simplify language down to being efficient all the time. Okay, and also, well, I'm, saying, I'm saying that. Okay, okay go ahead. Well, do you have more to say? Okay, cool. I so was gonna I'm say saying... the only other thing I was gonna say was just that, like, uh, that, like, that when people have a bad reaction to autism gender, I think it's because they have been primed to to believe certain things about autism, and they have been primed to believe certain things about uh, gender, and that they don't actually take the time like we're doing right now. And you have admitted now in this in this conversation that actually once you do think about it, it can make a little bit of sense to you. You've kind of proven my point that like like engaging honestly with the uh, with the idea can actually have a better result than just sort of making fun of it off the surface. Okay. Well, I I don't think I ever denied that. Like what you actually said. I mean, I I don't I don't think I've ever said like, oh yeah, autism can never affect the way that someone views their gender. I, I mean, that's pretty obviously true. I think a lot of things can do that, especially something that's like a mental uh, disorder, like autism, right? Um, yeah. But so okay, you you think that language, you know, accuracy versus efficiency. The the, the point is, is that at the end of the day. A lot of language is designed to be efficient, designed to be ac accurate. I mean, look at why we have like acronyms and shit, like TBH, you know, um, like LOL. Like this was all designed well, wait, to basically but... compress our. Le okay, yeah. But no, I was I was just gonna make a point on the, on those specifically. I'm not trying to like to to go over you, but go ahead if you have more you want to say on that. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I just right. there's something uh, yeah, specific I'm, about I'm those. Saying, I'm saying that yeah, there's there's a lot of the language we use is designed to be efficient. Okay, and. You're 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 basically asking like most people, or, or you're you're or not. Hmm, you're I guess I don't know if it's a request, but or maybe like a like a hope is that people will take the time to to um to expand like the way they view individual words like autism, gender, like like to, that they would take the time to understand what that means and how that affects like how they view the world when in reality that's just not how people operate people are busy people use the language that they know they have a palette of words that they use to interact with the world that they live in and that's totally fair and i'm sure like yes you're well, you know, keep in there's, mind there's, there's... that like that was the purpose of my video my video which you mocked uh uh you was was the purpose of the video was to do that for basically to do it for people to right, say but, hey but, here's this right. concept let me explain it to you in a nine minute video i think that's a pretty com very very short thing yeah, that somebody but, can but, read but, but, but so right. why so like don't you see that like you're the one like what your response was the was like 
is like the opposite, is like the opposite of what you're saying here. Like you're saying people don't understand things all the time. I went out of my way to explain something to people and your response was to sort of scoff at it and think that it's absurd, even though you didn't actually, you didn't seem to actually care what the content of it was. That seems kind well, of like a you problem and not a me problem, right? Okay, well, the, well, no, I think it is a you problem in the sense that oh, you, you basically, bad. you you kind of have like this niche word and I, I know you didn't, you weren't the one who came up with it, but it's a word that basically, like, nobody knows. Like, if you go out on the street, and I'm in college, if I go to anybody in my college, say autism gender, if they're not, like, terminally online, if they're not well, see, super now you're, involved. Now you're flavoring it now, because I know a lot of, I know literally multiple people who identify with that, 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 that phrase. They might not, right. you know, okay. they might but, not 100% swear by it, but... So I don't know if that's a good measure. Like you saying that somebody has to be terminally online to believe this. Well, I don't think so. No, 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 I, I didn't say believe aren't. it. I didn't say believe it. I'm saying like mm. to be familiar with it. Like there's so much shit that that even like like with everything, like like the stuff like on the internet that, that I either find funny or that I understand or this or that. It's all because I'm like involved in the certain community, right? Or or on this internet thing, right? Well, Where, and, sure. And but don't you feel you. like, it's like that's everybody limiting? in your community understands autism gender? But because they don't. They, watch you, they, they don't. Hear. No, they don't. That's why I made the video. I made the video to teach people. I made yes, the video or, so or that more people community. can understand it. And it was a response to people in my very broad community. I mean, like the general political space talking about autism gender because they heard somebody mention it. And then I made a video explaining it to people so that because I believe that on topics like this, we should try to uh, we should try to think first and talk second. Uh, we should try to understand people what they're saying because we might actually learn something. Okay, um, but so but like, the, but also like the wording, uh, like the autism gender wording. Like I, I just I reject it because of like the wording. There's there's what you're saying. That's so it's fine, like, it's like, but other people don't, right? Like the other people yeah. have found value yeah. in this. So but like, I, but I'm what saying, you're I'm saying, saying the what truth you're is, failing is that to do most here, people though, agree is, with me. That's the truth. Well, I don't care. I, p lots of people agree all kinds of stupid things. Like, I mean, all kinds of people believe extremely that's dumb stuff. That's my point. Is is efficiency? Is that is that the is that if if the world is unanimous in agreeing something or not unanimous, but like if the most people that I can talk to like agree that like okay, yeah, this is useless or this is stupid or that's not what that means. Like, you can say like, oh, this is you know what I'm saying. It's like. Okay, then I don't really Okay, care okay. So it, hold it, on a second. What like if it what let me give you an example of a histo a real historical example of when your position would where applying this to a, like a broader subject would be useful. Uh when uh when uh uh, Copernicus, Nikolai Copernicus, you know, the scientist, when he made the claim that the earth, uh, that the, the sun did not revolve around the earth, but rather that the earth revolved around the sun, most people in the world, the vast majority of people in the world did not believe that to be true. Okay, you're they talking about like a that, scientific falsehood. Well, that's not the same well, thing. Well, yeah, but, we're, but we're, it, No, we're talking about communication and the way we use words. But it applies you're, you're completely, meaning it, to it, something. Well, it if, applies the same, wait, it applies no, the same. It yes, it does. If, you're, if you're you applying are, if objective you are saying, truth. Wait, you are no, implying I'm not. objective I'm not truth. Implying yes, objective you are. Truth. You're saying, well, I'm, I'm using think an, the world no, no, no. is flat? I'm, I'm using an example of, of objective okay. truth to illustrate the fact that if we if you are unwilling to consider new ideas simply because they're not something that you've heard before, then and that and that you're telling me that I should I should that you're telling me that I shouldn't teach people about a new a, a word that they don't know because they don't know it. That that's a self-defeating position. I, I, I did not say that. I didn't say you should well, teach did, people on something because they don't know it. They, otherwise, like education wouldn't exist. Obviously, okay, but but don't you think that that okay? Be honest. Don't you think that that kind of flies in the face of the message of the message of the video that you made mocking my video? Don't you think yeah, that because, that type because of, I wait, think wait. Don't you think that type of behavior discourages would not me? Obviously, I don't give a fucking shit. I'm like I've literally I can take so much shit from so many people. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, okay. But like other, don't you think that the goal of that would be to kind of like mock and discourage that from happening. So yeah, you are I'm, kind of yeah, taking the position but, but, that people shouldn't learn new words. Yeah, if the words suck, like, yeah. Does it suck? Like yes, you still I, haven't I, I been think able, it's but, totally useless. But you haven't been oh, able to okay. prove that. All that okay, you've been able to okay. say is that you personally had a, a fragile reaction to the but word. Do you want to get into the etymology? Like we can do that. I don't care. I don't know what that has to do with anything.
<laughs> like, do you know what, what, you know what etymology means? I know. Yes, I know what etymology means. Thank you. Okay, uh, cool. What I'm trying to say is that I don't understand how the etymology has anything to do uh, with the situation. A word yeah, has well, been. So we're a talking word about words, been, and I'm talking about the meaning it, of the word, which is right. And, and, and you were trying to make the argument exactly that, that what matters is as efficacy, and then I pointed out that efficacy is not. Or, 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 sorry, efficiency, efficiency, and accuracy. Well, well if you want to do the accuracy argument too, I don't think auti gender that 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 combo of words accurately represents what you actually want it to well it's not me it's other people who've been using it i was making the argument that i think okay, that it does i it? think that well yeah i do agree with it because i think okay, that so as we've shown in this very discussion that the word can, a word can't contain all of its meaning like for example if i say the word computer you know what I mean when I say computer, even sure. though the etymology of the word computer does not actually tell you that it's an electronic device on which I do my emails and record my show. You know right. because of other context, all so, language has this. No word so, so, can have so the entire you're using meaning. A noun, you're, okay, so you're using a noun that we used to describe a certain thing. It's just, you can use that with like Apple, right? How did you know that I meant Apple? It's because we assigned that to that, right? No, I'm saying and gender. That, these I'm, words I'm already that... have meanings. We just put them together and try to create new meaning that actually doesn't accurately stem from the two but words you put together. Except no, it does. No. Yes, if if you if you it take more doesn't. than a moment to not just sort of like this is fly why I can agree with your actual definition of the word without agreeing with the actual word you used to um, symbolize the meaning. If somebody, okay. hold on, I, I want to I want to try to understand your position here seriously because um, I I'm yeah, having sure. trouble understanding. It feels like what you're doing is like it feels like you've kind of admitted to a number of things that were that you hadn't thought about before, but you don't want to let go of the original point. Well, well, like autism, what? gender, autism, on, gender. Like, like what though? Hey, wait, hold on. Let me explain. I'm going to explain it to you. Autism, gender. Somebody who feels like autism influences their gender. Now, if you see that word. A word cannot contain in and in itself its own definition. That is not how words work, like at all, ever. Words are always ref. They are. They are. They have. They are symbols that mean something else. Um, but I think that somebody saying that my gender is influenced by autism, autism gender, seems pretty logical to me. And if you don't like it, I have to wonder if it's because you have a pre-existing bias towards the word autism or towards the word gender. Because uh, you're trying to say that it, it ruins their meaning, but it doesn't. Uh, gender is a very, very complex subject, is a very, very complex thing that is made up of um, the way you dress, the way you act, your role in society, a whole bunch of things. It's super loaded. Gender is like a crazy loaded word. Autism and that's, is, Okay, so right. And, I remember and, you had... This is, can I quote you? Because you said, yeah, sure, you sure. said gender is an aesthetic, right? That is why um, you think this that, word works. I think works. I said more than that. I think I said that it was a lot more, but the gender is ultimately mostly no, no, no. aesthetic. When, yes. when did I see this? I, I saw a video... This is how I this is how I discovered your channel. Um, what's that guy's name? Short fat otaku. No, dude, do, you gotta do you know not that watch guy that guy. Is? That guy's that guy's like poison, man. Don't really? don't don't watch dude, that. He guy. was nice yeah, to dude. me. He might be nice to you, but like he's got like brain rot, man. That guy's like really? an old school loser. He's a centrist. Yeah, he, he's not a centrist. Oh man, I gotta tell you, I gotta be completely real with you. I'm gonna be 100 percent real with you. That man is not a centrist. Not only is he not a centrist, that dude's like pushing. Are you Is Destiny a centrist? Uh, no. Destiny considers himself the omni liberal. I think he's like, I think he's pretty firmly in the liberal. So he's camp. left. Okay, cool. No, well, no, I no. Think... Liberal. I mean, liberal is if you're if you're talking about the American political spectrum, liberal is left, but uh, liberal is not ne is not necessarily a leftist position. We're getting into complex things. In America, he would be considered left leaning, yes, but uh, but cool. no, he would not consider. I don't think he would consider himself a centrist, at least not yeah. recently. Maybe in the past, he did. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. I, I saw one video from Short Fat Otaku, and he said. Uh, or he showed one of your clips, and then you said gender is essentially an aesthetic, right? So that if yeah, that's mostly the definition, is, yeah. so exactly, so it mostly that's is, yeah, it's not entirely okay. that, but yeah. So in my video, when I said in order for you to think this this word works or, or has meaning or something, right? You have to not reject either. You have to reject either the word or fuck. What did I say? You have to either not think autism means anything, or or not think gender means anything. And you seem no, to not think gender means anything. You think you seem to think it's just an aesthetic. No, no, no. I, I, I mean, okay. So wait, hold on. Those two things are contradictory. You said that I think that gender is an aesthetic, and then you also just said that I think that gender means nothing. Those are contradictory. If like I do think. Do that you think most... aesthetics really matter though? Well, 
I, yes, but but it depends on what you mean by when you say matter. Let me explain. So oh boy. when Doesn't I say- Didn't Jordan Peterson say that? What do you mean happen? Well, Sorry, I mean, no, I, I do think I do think that the word matter <laughs> is a pretty major one. Like when you ask somebody, uh, does something matter to you? You could mean, is it important to you in this moment? You could mean, is it like, a, there's a lot of things that could be meant by that. But let me explain instead of jumping okay, in. Well, when I say uh, matter, let me explain I, I, it. I, can I explain what I, okay. Sure. Go ahead, go ahead. When I, say, sure. when I say I don't think it matters, I mean it in the sense mm -hmm. of like, so I've been in the airport a few times recently and I see people that look nothing alike ever and I just don't, it's just like, okay, whatever. That's how they look. That's their aesthetic, right? It's sure. like, okay, like, it doesn't, it's like, what well, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just like in one ear out the other type of thing. It's like, it doesn't mean anything to me. Mm. Like, it doesn't, well, a lot I, of people, I do I don't think, think that aesthetic care. matters a lot. I think that it matters to a lot of people. I think that's the reason why everybody dresses so differently. I think that people dress differently because they want to portray something about themselves. I'm wearing a, a, a demonic woman shirt Completely with, you know, relatively, you know, Bro, why am I having this conversation? Oh, don't Sorry, read so chat. Don't don't okay. read chat. It's just stay stay focused on the actual. We're having a good conversation here. Don't listen to chat. They're ridiculous. They're just having fun. Um, I don't know if it was your chat or mine, but uh, you're, but I'm not live. I'm just I'm just here. I'm just having a talk. People, sure. Like, just uh, let them let them have their in conversation. They're talking so with each other. silly guys. You guys are a bunch of silly geese. I hope you know. Yeah. Chat is always silly geese. Whenever you're having a conversation like this, never watch chat. It will not do anything. I don't even hit guys, guys, guys. Everyone in chat, like. We're what did boys. I say? Like, you got to don't ignore, even think you gotta about ignore, it. it. You got to ignore it. It's not even so, like that, y'all. Um, the 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 whole thing <laughs> is like people choose people dress differently for a whole lot of reasons. So I think aesthetic does matter to people. When I say that gender is mostly aesthetic, I mean that in our society, like nobody goes around with a a phone app that scans your chromosomes when nobody goes around doing you know genetic or blood tests on other people when we talk about gender we are almost always referring to the way a person dresses the way a person talks the types of pronouns that they use these are all aesthetic things um so in our society at the very least um, and I think in pretty much all societies that gender is very it's very fixated on aesthetic. And um, it's not only, but it's largely fixated on that, which means I don't think that gender means nothing. Um, I just think that uh, that when we are talking about gender and when we are making uh, societal claims about gender, that we should keep in mind that in our society, it's mostly aesthetic. It doesn't mean much else than that. And so we should keep that in mind when we're doing these analyses. For example, I think that anybody should be able to wear a dress. I think that anybody should be allowed to wear khakis. I think that anybody should be allowed to wear a three-piece suit. I don't think it matters what gender you identify as at all. Male, female, man, woman, uh, non-binary, uh, tree, uh, whatever. I don't care. Any of tree. those should be able to wear whatever. I don't care. Uh, we can go as... Yeah, exactly. We can no. I mean, because I'm trying to. Because I, wait, I slipped that in there as a, as an extent to as a as a, a point to say I don't care how far you go in your gender in your interpretation of gender. Even the more like a, more you know out there ones, I don't care. Like you should be. You should have the right to 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 dress however you want. So the fact that we have harsh gender rules, we have very strict gender policing in our society. Meaning like men who wear dresses often get made fun of a lot. Why? Gender is mostly aesthetic, so why should we ever make fun of a man who wears a dress? So, that yeah. makes no okay, sense so to me. So this just boils down to like our disagreement on like on like the utility of gender, right? So again, like, okay, may, maybe I'm not going to be able to because I don't I don't do the politics stuff, I don't do the debate stuff, I don't. This is not what I do, right? So when it comes to like live like discussions, when I'm like trying to explain stuff to people with people who are like doing this all the time and they're like level one thousand maxed out debate skills, it's like okay, yeah, well, thank sure, you. Like, it's flattering. I, all right, well, I'm, okay, well, do you not do this all the time? Like, am I wrong? Like, I do, actually, yes. I do do okay. debates all the time. It's true. I, have, I do have, like, God-level re rhetoric, so it's very difficult to defeat me in an argument. Well, I'm, not, I'm not trying to defeat you or anything. I mean, that's not what I'm... I'm not here to, like, take on the final boss or anything. I'm well, literally just saying, like, like we, we, we simply, like, we have just viewed gender, like, we just view that word differently. You're saying sure. it's just an aesthetic, and then you explain, like, why you think it is. And I'm saying, I think the way that we gender things and the role that it plays in our society is not just an aesthetic. It does have utility. So if it was just an aesthetic and, you know, males wearing dresses was, like, the popular thing and it was, like, societally constructed, like... I, I, do you think that all men would wear dresses? Like, do you really, like, do you think that that's just how it would be? 
I mean, I, yeah, I do actually. I do think that, um, and in fact, if you just go back, if you like, I this can is ask something. You a better question. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so don't actually. No, you said don't read chat. Okay, so okay, so, so let me let me ask you this, right? If if it is in all, all an aesthetic, right? So what's stopping us? Do you think? from having it be the case like the norm completely shifts like all men wearing dresses all the time do you think that, um, that really is just society or do you not think that like the clothing we wear or like other things so many other things actually have like utility and like and like what they provide for us like i think like, the you, vast like, no, majority can, can, can i just say one more thing oh, sorry so sorry saying, i thought like, that was the end of your question of that, an example of that would be like it's like so like if it if it was like the quote societal standard, right, where there's like the like the fashion, there's no gendered fashion. Because I agree, like some fashion is gendered when like it shouldn't be. Like if I have a monster truck logo on my T-shirt, like you know whatever, right? So there's, they're gonna think that like that's for the boys. So sure. basically, like okay, if there was no utility, it's like then why wouldn't everyone, or, or if it was the, the trend to do so, why wouldn't everyone wear bras? Why wouldn't everyone wear like thongs and stuff, or like guys too? It's like well, no. It's like, well, there's no utility for me wearing a bra. There's no utility well, in me wearing for, a thong. There, okay, so there's a couple of things that have been touched on here, but I can explain, I can answer all of your questions there. So the first one is, do I think it's it's large, that it's mostly society? Yes, I do think it's mostly society. Um, I think a lot of men would actually, and I think a lot of men do actually, they keep it on the down low, but a lot of men do actually like engaging in uh, what is typically seen as women's uh, uh, fashion choices. Makeup, Sussy. Uh, Makeup, um, makeup, or uh, or 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 nails. Um, I know a a lot of cishet dudes, you know, cisgender, not trans, heterosexual uh, dudes who really like the idea of getting nail polish, whether it's colored nail polish or clear nail polish. They like the idea of their nails looking good, um, and they don't they don't do it because uh, because that's not acceptable by society. And when I say it's not acceptable by society, I mean, people get bullied really bad about it. And in fact, people will get harassed even in their workplaces. If you're a, a professional and you show up one day, you're a guy, a professional guy, and you show up and you have painted nails with a color on them, some bosses will literally fire you over that. It's very weird. It's very That's weird. True. But but why? There's no real reason for it. There are a lot of men who really like na uh, nail polish. And if you ask them in a room where they're anonymous, men will reply very strongly that they're actually into things that they that they won't admit publicly. So yes, I do think a lot of gender is policed on a societal level. There's no genetic reason for it. Um, and also, another yeah. thing that would speak okay. to this, I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm answering your question fully because I think this is an important question. Um, if you look historically, if you go back in time and you do some historical research on on uh, on on gender history, you will notice that um, like uh, paintings of of like nobles and kings of the literal people who were on the top of society, the par paragons of their society at the time for better or worse, obviously for worse, but uh, that these paragons would often, uh, I mean, high heels were exclusively worn by men originally because it was seen as uh, a way to make you f seem more domineering, you were taller and therefore stronger, you can project your power more. It was, ne high heels were never worn for by women until like the, the, the late 1800s or 1900s even. So for most of history, they men wore high heels. Same thing yeah. goes for painted probably, nails too. I don't even care about that. Like, I, I mean, like, I well, I'm just I, trying I, to make I, a point to answer your question as to whether I think that gender is social or not. Because yeah, I don't well, think there's well, anything mm. like, there's nothing to me that answers that thing. Now, to, 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 to answer the other thing, like you said about bras, there are yeah. some pieces of clothing that do serve a specific physical purpose that can vary. True. Now, which is based um, on genetics, which like I think you well, kind of ignored. Well, it's not always based on genetics cuz keep in mind that there are men who have tits. Like a lot of men who have tits. Not just not just cis men who have tits, which is there is a lot of them, but there are also trans men who have tits and they are men who need a bra, who need a bra. Um and that that is more of a need based thing. And in fact, I I you might not know this, but that there are actually a um Gynecomastia is a really, really, which is, you know, cis men f like growing breasts basically know, or having like whatever. It, 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 it doesn't matter whether or you actually, think it's good it, or not. It can be, it can, it can be fine, yeah. I think. It can be, it can be, it can be not so bad. Sometimes it can have some risks. But regardless, the point is that it's actually very common. It's a very common thing. And in fact, on the down low, uh, there are a lot of cis men who buy things called binders, uh, which are, you know, they are things that, that hide that you have fat on your chest. And these yeah. are very commonly purchased by cis men. They won't talk about it though, because that would be 
it, it, because it violates gender norms. So well, while I do but, but, think but, but, that but, but, some on, genetics... Well, can I just say something? Because that's Go different ahead, sure. than what you said about the nails thing. The reason why that's sure. done is because it wouldn't actually... Odd, or um, It wouldn't fit like the genetic norm of men not having as large breasts as, as, as women. Not because there's like a societal standard of men to not paint their nails. That's actually very different. One of those I, is, I one of those I is purely those social. One of them is actually genetic. Well, it it has a genetic element. It doesn't mean that right, it's hold on, entirely... Hold on. I actually have to pee pretty badly. Can you just let me be Sure, sure. Go ahead. That's fine. I'll talk to my chat while we wait. I actually think this conversation has gone surprisingly well. I did not expect this conversation to... Um, I did not expect this this conversation to go the way like to to go as positively as it has. I hope that it. I hope that. Yeah. Hey, microplastics. I I want to I want to I want to fix it in the next section that we're talking about. I really want to like like lock in on the line here that we're talking about and separating the um you know, separating this this idea of genetics and how far genetics actually go. I did not throw anybody under the bus. Chat is so chaotic. I can only speak of you. I can only speak of chat as a single entity, but you are not a single entity. You are like a flock of starlings, a, 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 a million different birds all flying in different directions, but sometimes you fly together in the same way. I was not shitting on you. I was telling the truth, which is if you're, a deba if you're in a debate or in an intense conversation, you have to ignore chat because chat will always be throwing out. Somebody in chat is always going to be talking some mad shit or making a dumb joke or saying something that's wrong you just can't do it you just you just have to it's the way it goes yeah. hello 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 welcome back i hope uh hope everything went fine for you um, very well we were uh, we were talking about the the genetic aspect of certain aspects of gender and uh <laughs> This is this is a this is where it does get a little bit more complicated, but I'm totally more than happy to discuss it because um, I don't know. Like I do think that 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 like the possibility of a cis man uh, developing like breast tissue or fat on their on their chest is is a it's obviously there's some level of genetic involvement there, but there's also a lot of other things that can cause that um, medication. Wait, all on, kinds. I'm so of sorry things. to cut you off. Can I respond to one thing that someone in your chat said? Uh, if you must. One thing. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay. Skeptical Pan says, what's the biological... Wait, what's the biological reason women can't be topless anyway? Like, 100%, That's like, true. plus one. I'm part of the free the titty movement, okay? Like, let's That's just good, be clear though. on my take on that. Free that thing, okay? Like, well, yeah, because, not... uh, like, you know, dudes can have their tits out all the time, and they do. Facts. I've seen it at the beach many times, so... Like, yeah, like I don't Europe absolutely is right on that. Like, you know, yeah. they don't... They don't hide them, you know? So... So let so, it yeah. you know let it just for the record I am part of the free the titty woman that's not a Good. creepy so, so take wait, you Jessica are, so you Johnson are a, so you are a pro nudity person then damn we oh, we finally figured it out that's a joke that's a joke from earlier well, uh, um, well I mean okay you you you, you like we're, okay but you're like freaking out like oh is he is he pro nudity I'm just like I'm I'm not even saying pro no you said you you're expected you to wear that clothes to me. no 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 you said that to me. You said that you said, are you pro nudity or something? And I said, what does that mean? That's what you said, not me. I didn't say that. You said that. Now we know you're pro nudity. Pro nudity. Why would you be anti nude? Like, like in what? Like, Good question, what? my man. Why would you be? Anyway. Well, okay. Well, hold on. I'm just saying. Well, like, you know, I don't even know, man. Like. Uh, it's all good. Listen, <laughs> okay. let's, let's let's continue with the actual topic, not the not the distraction. That was mostly just goofing around. Um, but but. When you talk about that, that like the 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 bra thing, like that there, you know, that more, uh, you know, more women need bras than men do. Yes, that is a genetic aspect, but um, but it's sort of a genetic aspect that is reflective of our um, it's reflective of the way that we divvy up society. The fact that that we call most people who have breasts women, even though m many of them aren't. Like I said, there are trans men out there who have breasts and aren't women. They don't identify as women. They don't live their lives as women at all in any way, shape, or form. They live their lives as men. That just kind of shows that that we draw these lines in a very weird way. Um, well, I don't know I if just the lines are that, drawn weirdly. I think they're drawn to to um, support the 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 popular, not the popular, the the majority of people, right? So when like the reason why bras are gendered 
for women is because yeah, it's mostly women who are going to have the biggest breasts. And that's not like a that's not a thing that's done to because of like socialization. That's just because of like the biological fact that yes, women are more likely to have bigger breasts. I think I mean, that, like I, I, I think, think, that I, there's I think you're posing some the question of like is that useful, right? And I think like yeah, I, I do think it's useful. And I said this in my video that like yeah, and, and then you for some reason tie this to slavery, but I said like for hundreds of years that we've been doing this because it has served utility. And then you said well, like but slavery we know that utility, we know that, that like, nah. it to some some gendered things have some level of utility, but you can't you can't tell me that True. all of these are correct. Like and when I say utility, I mean it's it's limited. Lots of things have a small amount of utility but aren't worth upholding on the broad level. Like for example, well, that's just I, think it's pretty, I think it's pretty well, I think it's pretty innocuous to say that, like, yeah, you know, uh, people who identify as women are most likely going to have, are most, are more likely to have, uh, you know, boobs, to have breast material, have large really? breasts even, than uh, than people who don't. But we know that's not 100% true. And while that particular example isn't like the biggest, like, bras... Uh, is not the biggest example of what I'm talking about. It ties into other things. Like, for example, um, we have had for the longest time a, a gender role uh, that basically says that women are the best homemakers and that they should always take care of children. But we know that that is totally, not only is that not true, it's also harmful. Uh, we, we, and, and yet we did it for thousands and thousands of years. Just because we do something for thousands of years does not make it correct. And in fact, it can be really bad. Um, that's why I brought up the slavery example, was to draw another thing. Was slavery was done for tens of thousands of years. Most of human history has contained slavery. And I would argue that it, in certain forms, slavery still exists to this day not in the same way it's not chattel slavery but it's a different form of slavery um and if Wait, and really? but and we know that it's still bad so well, just like because it was done probably. yeah human human trafficking uh there's wage slavery which is basically giving someone a wage that's so low that they can never escape this happens to a lot of immigrants where they they have to make money in order to be sponsored to move somewhere but they're paid so low that they can never actually save anything and like literally like two dollars a day type pay uh which is just impossible uh, so that's like what I would consider to be wage slavery. It's like you are technically being paid. But anyway, that's aside from the point. What I'm trying to say yeah. is that just because something has existed for a long time doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. I right. think it's yeah, a bad thing. Yeah, but the reason thing. I brought that up was because genetics and like, yeah, okay, yeah, evolution, right? But genetics seem to be lasting like hundreds of years. And the, the thing about like the clothing thing, that's because of, of the genetic thing lasting. We're, we're talking, so social standards are always changing. You agree with that? And of course. But, and 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 the, and and slavery was a social standard. It wasn't like a genetic thing. Like oh, like like well, white they, people that, more. That they they tried to say it was at the time. Like it like this. No, no, is no, no, you, I'm, yeah, so I'm they, saying, they tried. They that literally white tried to do that. For a long time. Or, I'm saying white people aren't genetically predisposed. To, to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like to want to own slaves type, type shit. Well, you know don't, saying? don't, I agree with you, but don't tell that to, don't tell that to pro-slavery people before the Civil War because they believe that was the case. They believe yeah. that there was a Why master really race them, and a slave so. race. I know, but what I'm saying is that, that like people, people will make all kinds of arguments. And if we want to, if we want to yeah. come to the truth and if we want to grow as people, then we should interrogate those. And just because something has worked a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good thing. Okay, like, well, the point is, I is think like, that's regardless true about of a lot whether of gender or not like, there was like lies about biology back then, the point is, is that I don't think anyone's going to argue. And then this is like probably, like, you know, pretty well researched. I'm going to assume that men and women are different and that in the Well, yeah, but body. like I said before, men and men are different. If you like the genetic differences between you and your 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 cousin who grew up right, in Right, but hold on, hold on. Can I just make a, can I make a point? It's like, yes, sure. yes, that's true. There There is differences between, you know, men and men, obviously, right? But... This okay. This might be controversial, but like ninety nine percent of men have wieners, right? And that's like that's gonna affect like okay. That's why like boxers exist because like they kind of run down your leg, and it's supposed to you know, it's, it's supposed to tame the dog if you know what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, but but this, it's like it's like that's why we don't wear thongs because earlier. thongs thongs if you wear thongs or if you wear like women's underwear, you know that that guy doesn't really have much room to uh to exist in, you know, so that's, that's kind true. Of the point but that I'm but making, also keep in mind that. that like, I was, I was going to point out earlier that like, there are a lot of trans women out there, women who have penises and some who don't, but some trans women, you know, get, you know, sexual reassignment surgery and no longer have a penis. But there are plenty of women out there who have penises. And it's funny because a, like, it's sort of a known thing that, uh, that there are types of underwear 
that are that are women's underwear that are designed for cis women. They're called boy shorts, uh, if you've ever heard of them. But they are a yeah. type of underwear designed for cis women. They're not designed for trans women that trans women often wear, specifically for the reason that you mentioned, because Dope. both cis women and uh, and trans women find so, it more comfortable. Right, so, so like so what I'm trying to point me. out here is, well, no, I'm not agreeing with you. What I'm trying to say is that the uh, that the gendered part of our society is very random and it doesn't actually accurate accurately address our needs and that we should th that the and if you want to get really complex uh and i don't want to go like too far into things here because you know we, we've been talking for a while and i don't want to like you know go into a whole other thing but if you look at what the purpose of gender is in our society most of it is to control people's behavior to behave in a certain way it's to tell people you need to be in the home doing the child work you need to be the provider and some of these are starting to break not all of them but some of them are starting to be challenged but it's key to note that they are being challenged, that people assert them as true. Most of what we experience of gender in our society is people telling you what you can and cannot do, and it's designed to control you in a very specific way. And I don't agree with that. I think that I think that, that that's a very absurd thing to say, to say that like just because of the genetics you were born with, you were born with uh, you know with XX chromosomes, that you are you are destined predestined to be like a housemaker or a like a house wife um but that is what most of gender is used to do it's made to to sort of d make make genetic uh predestiny for people and i think it's really bullshit Hello? i'm a trans woman i was born uh male oh, with xy that. chromosomes as far as i know i've never actually had a genetic test i could be intersex or something for all i know but uh but as far as i know uh i i i was born with xy xy chromosomes but that was not that like, I was not happy being you know being told that I'm a, a a man or that I'm a boy. I did that did not make me happy at all. It doesn't make me happy, and uh, and so I ch I challenged the gender perceptions of society and said why can't I wear the sh the clothes that I want to? Why can't I take the hormones that I want to? Why can't I have the pro the pronouns that that fit me better? And the right. answer was mostly because you can't. It's not, there's not a real good reason for it. There's well, just sort of a knee jerk, like that's not how we've always done it. And well, yeah, okay. so like, well, okay, that's so, where so I start I wanna, to say that the I, I utility think that's, well, Okay, so, so the utility thing, I, I, I'm gonna uphold that because while you and some other people, um, you know, or a large amount of people even, you know, they may think that it's like a trap or, or a prison. It's, it's like a, um, you know this 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 binary that we have to abide by at all times it's like it's limiting us okay sure like you can go ahead and you can buy you know um whatever like men's boxers if if like you're a girl and like you've been expected to wear women's underwear like like no one's saying you can't i i, I think that we just view it differently you view it as a sense of like there's like this in binary being enforced and they're and they're trying to like suppress us where i i just think it's like most people just find it to be useful at least that's what i've noticed i mean Every guy that I've ever seen. See, this is where I do disagree with just, you. Because okay. like I don't I, I don't think that like I don't think it's like it's particularly useful. I don't think that like I don't well, see don't. where the That's use comes in. Well, no, because like here's the thing. Like first of all, the first thing is there are tons of people who will say something if you do something gender nonconforming. Uh, like right now, there was an entire faction of American politics, a large faction that that literally thinks that you're you're like committing a crime by doing dra a drag show. Like it's ridiculous. It's out of control. The amount of like transphobia that exists in our day to day lives that right. people okay. just freak but out. And also, let me tell you this: if you don't think that you would be punish for that then try dressing up in women's well, clothes not, next I'm time you go to a family dinner and see how people react because right. you've not done anything well, wrong but you I, I can tell you you'll probably have some family members who don't well, treat so, you very so, well so this is okay so this is kind of like you just kind of prove it in, in like that's that sentence where it's like you're like well then go ahead and do it it's like well i don't feel any need to do it because it's like I, i'm simply because i'm you. not viewing it from the aesthetic lens i'm viewing it from the utility lens i'm viewing it as just a sense of like okay this fits this works and like yeah and, for and, you and it, it does the that's job. very personal though that's you 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 must be able right, to recognize but, but, that's okay, not so, going so, to be true so now for we everyone, have to talk right? about like the bigger picture exactly so now i want to talk big picture because we focus well, on a lot well, of specifics well, because you, on, when I, I say like when i make the before we go like, big picture most men don't we, have breasts okay yeah but bef before we go big picture i want to address uh one more thing that you said which is about the positive utility of of gender and gender roles and uh i don't see a whole lot of those um and the reason why i don't see a whole lot of those is um that, no, there like, would not like, be dresses that fit me.
Sorry, uh, I'm reading your chat. Oh, yes, they're, oh, five. yes they're, there absolutely would be dresses. Trust me, if you want, I can help you find one. Don't worry. You just have to look. Oh, no, no, it is no. true. It is true for tall. It is true that for In tall no people, uh, tall people, uh, 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 that it's much harder to find dresses in general. For example, uh, I, my mom. Well, my mom, who who gave birth to me, she's a cis woman. Uh, ha, was had you know has complained my entire life. Has complained my entire <laughs> life about having difficulty finding you know long enough. Uh, long enough uh, pants and dresses because, uh, well, because tall women don't generally, aren't aren't like generally catered to because, you know, they're less common. Regardless, True. what I'm trying to say is about, about, about the positive aspects <laughs> of gender is, um, is things like, uh, like, can you give me an example of something, of something that, that has, that you have been, that, that is gendered, that has been positive for you? Like uh, an example of something that you that, that really improved your life as a result of being gendered. Uh, yeah, for sure. So um, I'm wearing underwear right now, and they fit perfectly. And I don't want to get too graphic, but I don't think if I was wearing uh, underwear that was designed for the female gender that I would be comfortable whatsoever. Yeah. Okay, but what if there was no? What if there was uh, there was just underwear? You could just say. This is an underwear, and the underwear would be described instead of being described as men's or women's or male or female. It would just say, "This is large in the front." So if you have a large or small, whichever one package, this is the thing for you. Wouldn't that be a little like easier? Because then somebody like me, you know, uh, a trans woman who has a penis, then well, I would I be able would to go, "Hey, easier? I want to buy I don't this know, too." That's the, that's the whole debate, right? Is would it be easier? And I'm saying, I mean, no, I don't think it would isn't be that big of a difference? I don't know. I mean, that's the whole thing. It's like I don't. We don't live in that world. We live in the world where, that I'm living in, and you okay. know, where I can just go out and get men's so, boxers and they fit and it works, and I don't complain and it just okay, works. Okay, okay. So know? wait, wait. This is that's perfect. The whole point wait, that I make. This is perfect. This is perfect. So what you're saying is that there is a very minor convenience that comes from the fact that you can walk into a men's section and generally find underwear that fits. Although, let's be real, a lot of times when you buy something, it doesn't always fit perfectly, and you also need to know. Interestingly, you also need to know your size of things. You have to know the size of your underwear. You need to know the different people that make it. There's a lot more. You don't just walk in and find the perfect underwear. You go and you get a size whatever of this particular, you know, Hanes or whatever fucking company you buy from Calvin Klein. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it. It isn't that simple. But let's say, let's put these two against each other. Let's compare the, fa the, the small benefit that you get from saying, oh, it's convenient, I can walk into a men's store, it's, to the downside. But you're saying the small benefit that I get, right? You, you, that you, you personally sorry, get, yes, because like, a lot I'm of people don't get this. Bro, I'm literally just like some some like copy paste like cishet white man, right? I'm I'm using sure. the keywords that your chat's gonna fuck with, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm literally I mean, just that guy. I don't I'm know just about like... that. I mean, there's the, the words have meanings. That's why it's helpful in this conversation. Is because like indicating that can be helpful for what we're talking about. But right, sure, whatever. sure. But I'm, I'm I'm you know copy paste normie whatever. And and I'm just speaking on behalf of us, bro. Like this shit's helpful. Okay, you're gonna say it's a small convenience when you when you scale that up to like like literally tens of millions of boys. On the first day of school, when they have to find shit that fits, and they can be in and out of a department store. Um, not well, department but store, but no one's saying that a department store isn't going to exist, or that not there aren't going to be ways to do that. It's just that it. My cooks. You notice you you realize that like gender ties into much more. That you are like <sighs> to to have a a to have as a part of your society, uh, you know, male and female restricted segments of clothes. There are other changes that are that are required. There are things you have to pay for that. So yeah, while for cis people, for people who have no uh, qualms whatsoever, can just can just walk into a store and get that. But we're not saying that can't happen in an in another society. There are ways to design this that don't have the downsides. And the downsides I'm talking about are things like maybe you personally don't have any desire to dress any differently than I don't know, like khakis and a Minecraft t-shirt maybe that's all you want uh, maybe nice. that works for you and there's no judgment if that's the case that's totally fine if that's all that you want but there's a lot of people who aren't like that what about all of the men out there who Creeper. really would oh, what man. about what about all the men out there who uh who would um who really want to have painted nails but if they do it they're going to be ruthlessly mocked by their peers and their family because of Pre, because of nonsensical gender norms, like that's a pretty heavy cost to pay, uh, for so that you can so that you can say it's convenient to be able to go into a Target, but 
Let me point out that if we didn't have such a gendered society, you would still be able to go into a target and you would still be able to pick out a, 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 you know, underwear that is for a specific body type. And in fact, there are stores that do that right now. There are stores, I mean, I was just talking with somebody in chat just a little bit ago. They have a, a thrift store near them that doesn't do gendered seg sections. They are, they are sorted by body shape and, and size. So you go in and you're looking for a specific type of underwear, you know right where to go and it doesn't have anything to do with gender because it doesn't have anything to do with gender anyway. Gender is such a a confusing thing that we've created that it only has it only has helpful applications in very niche sections. You see That's what I'm saying? Just, no, no, it's not niche at all. I mean, uh, I, I, I literally, you, you're, you're not contesting the fact that I said tens of millions of of cis people, really, it's hundreds of millions of cis people. Because I mean, cis people right, are but like the no one's saying population. that they can't get their underwear. It's just right, saying, saying that no, 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 you did. You said it's a niche benefit. That's not true. It is a niche benefit. It is a niche benefit to we say. Dress, wait, hold on. Wait, we put on wait, clothes no, no, every no, you're, single you're, day. Wait, hold on. You're, you're misunderstanding what I mean by niche. Let me be more clear. When I say niche, let I mean it doesn't clear. affect. Yes, let me be clear. Uh, <laughs> I learned. I've learned a lot from Obama. That's why I'm so powerful. I have. I have. I. I saw him get the Chaos Emeralds, and I knew that I needed to get them too. So I did. Fire. Um, you but, should uh, legalize lean. Uh, come on, there's better, on lean? There's, be there's better drugs than lean, man. Come on. You, you should put on that lean. purple drink or what? Purple drink? You, Look, listen. Are you I'm, tapping I'm being the dead serious cup? right now. I'm being dead serious right now. I do. I, I I enjoy my drugs. Okay. Lean is like the. It is like the lowest of the low. Okay. Just trust me. You can do better so than you, that. Wait, you're not tapping to perp? No. Not today. No, not today. I like my I like my liver, thank you. I would rather be able to do many drugs for the rest of my life than uh, give myself liver cirrhosis in two weeks drinking lean. Um, oh, damn. But uh, it's all good, though. No no hate to those <laughs> Your who have chat a good time. is all saying, like, lean is low tier. It's true, because it chat. is. It's because I have... It's chat because my, like chat, crack my chat... House. Yeah, my chat. Now my chat are healthy. See, they know they don't fucking they don't fucking do that dirty shit. They they use they use the drugs smartly. They use it to, to become next tier. So we, sure. We've got enlightened people here. All right, um, right. but uh, but nah. Like all I'm saying is when I say niche, I mean <laughs> I'm not saying to, to I'm not saying to like uh to like a small group of people. It obviously is a there are a lot of cis people in the world. What I'm saying is is that it's a pretty we, pretty esoteric benefit to say. When I go to the store, I can walk to the boy section instead of walking to the section of the underwear that fit my body type uh, section. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, I'm not talking I mean, about the number of people I see what you're effects. saying. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, saying I'm, that, I'm like, sure this is like pretty personal for you because like specific like thing that you have to worry about. And I can kind well, of feel you on that. It's not just personal like, about I, me. Because like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit. Like, I, I already know. Like, I'm already enlightened, bro. Like, I've, I've ascended so far beyond gender. Like, people can't even comprehend. I can walk in anywhere and I can find clothes for design, designed for anybody to do whatever the fuck I want. All I'm pointing out is that like the example that you're using of gendered underwear is a part, what I'm trying to get to is that it's a part of a bigger structure. It's a part of a bigger structure that is nonsensical. It it said it simultaneously okay, says it's nonsensical because it it tries to tell you it's like the pockets thing. This is the same. It's the same basic no, thing. It's, no, it, it's not. It, it is. Pockets... It is the same basic thing. It, it, it is a it is a structure that is that tries to tell you that every person using this particular label, the label of man or woman, has a body that acts a certain that is yeah a certain that way. has a penis, and that's like almost that's, everybody. Like I'm sure, like you know, yes, there's trans people, but like bro, that's like. I'm, I'm talking about like what's the percentage like 99 something i'm, I'm sorry yes. like, like shout well, out hold trans on. You're, people you're, you're you're missing you're missing the point here the world gender is not just made up of a single pair of underwear and as i've already said obviously there are going to be like things like uh like bras that are that are going to be valuable to some body types over others but so it's not nonsensical you're, you're you're not letting me finish here. I'm trying. I'm desperately trying to show you how this how this doesn't fault, align. It's okay. Uh, with other parts of the idea of gender, the gender is this thing that is supposed to, at least in our society, supposed to determine what you wear. That is supposed to determine your body type. That is supposed to determine uh, your role in society. That is supposed to determine what types of jobs you can do. And that these are all intertwined and they're reinforced by one another. That so, we have okay. men's and women's sections. And and that again, uh, underwear is not the only type of clothes that people buy. While yes, I'm sure that you could probably have 
uh, uh, that it's like, again, the underwear situation is a pretty low grade thing that I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is more, uh, is, is, is there a lot of other examples of, of huge assumptions and not just assumptions, but enforcement that is done. Like I said, you are not allowed to dress or you are not it, it, you know, incentivized and in fact are decentivized, sometimes severely decentivized from dressing or behaving a certain way because we buy into these gender things. And so what I'm saying is that having a little bit easier to sort underwear is not all that big, it, to me, doesn't seem like that big of a benefit when you're also talking about a structure that simultaneously removes all the pockets from women, also tells women that they have to be homemakers, also tells women that they're not supposed to be successful or CEOs, and also tells men that they're not supposed to have emotions, that they're supposed to always compete with all of their friends and they can't have a relationship that's not based on competition. Okay. Like so these I are think, aspects okay. of gender that are huge in our society and they okay. attach to all of this. Do you see what I'm trying to do you see what I'm trying to point at? That the niche yeah. benefit that you immediately yeah. named. There's a there's I'm a whole lot on my plate here. All right. So you gotta let me cook just just for a quick sec, okay? So sure, I'm I'm ahead. I'm I think you're like I mean, yeah, like okay, yes, sir. Like men painting their nails like like when i see like ben shapiro I'll be like Arr! like okay like, like nice one bro right but it's like strange. okay like yeah, sure right but like you're now you're, you're 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 doing this thing where you're you're tying all of that into like into like this is why women can be more than homemakers this is why this this is why that and i'm just like okay well let's take a step back and not do that because i think they're very different i'm saying uh, i'm i'm addressing gender in its t t totality and you're right. you, and I asked you specifically, what's a benefit? What's like a? I asked you to volunteer a large benefit for yourself. Like I said, what's a benefit you gain from gender? And you could the only thing that you brought up really was was having a slightly easier time finding well, underwear. Well, and was, I, I mean, point that out thing. that I mean, there's a whole lot. Yeah, but more. but but what I'm trying to say is that I mean, gender is sports, way bigger like... than that. Yeah, but that okay. There's well, a lot let's of, not. A lot, yeah. If you want to get into that, let me tell you, I have a feeling that you probably have some pretty wrong opinions if you think that men and women's. Listen, look. All I'm going to say is that is a way more complicated topic than we can dive into tonight. If you want to come on here sometime and talk about Wait, men what? and no, women's no, no. sports, you just, you just you you just ask me like, how has it helped? I'm saying when I go on the court and it's like I'm playing against all boys, like yeah, that, that's just it's 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 more fair. I don't want to be dunking on the girls. Like that's like it's not fair. I'm not uh, like I said. Uh, sports. I am not even gonna. Uh, well, you asked God, me has it helped my whole... life, and I'm telling you, yeah, that you sort want, of organization. You want to talk about sports? Okay, look. We'll well, talk no, about I mean, you asked me bit. for another example. First of all, if you don't want to talk about okay. it, we don't have to. When when you're talking about uh, men and women's sports, that uh, that separation is actually. Uh, it's not all that helpful as you think it is. In some sports, it's a big difference. In other sports, it's not that big of a difference at all. And when I say that, um, that's because well, if that's you obviously adjust, true. and this is, well, well, yeah, but that's yes, mean. I said uh, dunking, so it's basketball. That's for okay, me. Okay, sure. So basketball. I mean, do you that's want, fine. I don't, I don't want to talk about big society actually, shit because, like, it's well, like, well, you bro, said, you, well, I'm trying to you asked, bring you asked attention me to that. Yeah, but okay. So for you, a person, you believe a personal benefit is that. Um, that you go onto the court and you play with people who are your same build. But you could do that in a world without gender as well, very easily. You just go and you find people yeah, who look like your build. It's super I, easy to do so. Just, like they, they're, they're all going to be guys. <laughs> okay. Well, you don't know that, actually. They, some of them could be trans women. Some of them could be trans women. In my women life, they've all been guys. Some of them, well, that's fine. That's, that's, but that's correlated. Really, that's what that's, you asked me. That's in the society. I know, but... What I'm, what I'm trying to say is that you would be able to do that without in a society without gender. So this isn't a benefit that is like exclusively maybe. brought to you by gender. Of course you would. Of course you would be able to go to a court and find but people like, does that who society are similar, exist? Similar like, what are, we, are we talking about like imaginary? Wait, are you telling me right now that you don't think that there's any woman that could beat you at basketball? No, of course not. Okay, so then if that's true, then it clearly isn't just gender that you're operating on. You're playing against people who well, are I'm in your relative it's, skill it's level. It's the genetic stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Well, genetics not, doesn't apply that well as you think it does, but in basketball, yeah, it does. You, I mean, males are like I don't, I don't have the the. I mean, listen again. I'm not, the, I'm not the debater, right? So I don't have all the statistics. I don't know where to go. Right. For, like, well, the we don't statistics. have to. What I'm sure. trying to point okay, but out, most though, men are I'm, taller than women. Can you agree on that? Most men are taller than most women. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, that's, sure. So but that's, 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 that's the point that, that I'm that, making. Again, not, that's influenced by genetics. You don't want it. Well, it's it, 
And most men are stronger by than two, It's influenced by skin. two things. It's influenced. It's influenced by. Uh, look, I am a woman. I am legally recognized as a woman, and I am a woman. I identify as a woman. I'm a trans woman. I am taller cool. than most men. I am six two. I'm a very tall woman. Okay. My mom was also six Sheesh. two, and my mom was si was cis. So it yes, it is true that most men are larger, are taller than most women, but. That is a that is not the that is not like a like a very it's not it's not a very helpful thing here because we categorize women and men a certain way anyway. So what I'm saying is yes, obviously most men that we categorize as men are taller than most women, but you acknowledge that there are some men who are not that not all men are taller than all women. There are women who are taller than many men, and there are men who are shorter than many women. And so what I'm pointing to is that the problem here is height. Wait, but can I just respond to that really gender. quickly? Gender is 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 a is an ancillary that we are pasting right. onto here that doesn't actually have that much to do anything. If when it comes to basketball, you're talking about height, and you're talking about body weight. So, and and in fact, it's funny because the Olympic uh, like uh, uh, the the Olympic uh, co the Olympic community and also a, a most professional sports organizations in the United States have already advocated to moving away from split gender models for sports and instead focusing more on body size, uh, muscle you know musculature, weight limits, and heights because it's just more useful because there are some women who are just really strong and really yeah, tall yeah, yeah. But and they blow the I mean, shit a, out of everybody yeah, else yeah, 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 and they a, should like probably the, be yeah, they, at they, the top tier more, yeah yeah, but for a more fair, for a for more well, you're fair, talking about like, we're uh, talking about like average people, like like. Uh, yeah, the, the, I don't, I don't know. and what I'm trying to illustrate here is because we've we've we, you these are the two that you've brought forward, Let's and I'm trying, go. I'm trying to point out to you that I hope you can understand what I'm trying to get at, which is the idea that gender here is not what you're pointing at. You're saying that gender might help you, and I'm pointing out that I don't think gender is what's actually helping you here. Honestly, then maybe I shouldn't use the word gender because if you're gonna think of it as an aesthetic, then I may as well not. Then it's just like sex, because it's like it's sex that what matters most to me in the day-to-day -day life. Then probably, I guess. Well, right? and I would counter you with this: When was the last time you knew the sex of anybody that you engaged with? Have you ever once actually like identified the genetic sex of any person that you nobody have does that? To? Nobody's like cock exactly. inspection. Like, Wait, what? exactly. <laughs> but because not even a cock inspection would be accurate, <laughs> and the reason why is because okay. or like, we or like acknowledge blood prick like. Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. Nobody uses sex in their lives. And the same thing almost 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 universally applies to gender as well. Gender, this is this is sort of the end okay, result of the just long like, conversation like, we've like, had. Now we're just being kind of silly now. Like, it's like, no, well, we're not never, being silly. Like, you've never verified you wanted, that they're actually listen, a biological... You came, hold like, on a second. You came on here to discuss with me all of my ideas in this video. And we have gone down a very long path. And I don't think this is silly. I think we're getting to the actual heart of the issue. The um, we've addressed a lot of different things, but yeah, we are, Wait, we are, are getting to the, we are getting to the big veiny cock meat of the issue. That's what we're what at right duh. now. Um, what, uh, that's where Wait, we're at. Are you a vegan? I'm actually curious. Uh, I am an aspiring vegan. I would love to be vegan, but I'm not quite yet. My household isn't vegan, so I sometimes eat meat. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Anyway, um, that aside, uh, what I'm trying to point out here is that neither gender nor sex is a particularly useful social category for most of the things that we use it for. Uh, however, it does restrict a lot of people. It restricts cis do, do people we, and trans people. Can I, ask you, can I ask you honestly though? Like, do you really like? Do you fully believe that? Like in our like, did, I mean, maybe not for you. And, and I, I don't want to be that guy because like this is gonna sound like I'm being an asshole, but I'm really you I shouldn't swear be that guy. I'm not trying to. You be, can just right? you can just not be that guy. Yeah, just. Well, ask, hold on. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say right. Like sure. you're a streamer, right? And, and this is sure, me too, yeah. right? But like you you probably spend a lot more time indoors than most people. Is that a fair oh, assumption? Oh, absolutely not. No, I I am like okay. uh, uh, I stream not. I stream a lot on my stream days, but these these motherfuckers will tell you I have like the most unreliable <laughs> streaming schedule ever. I, I I I spent the last few months almost exclusively doing shit social shit shit outside my house traveling across the country i do a lot of stuff outside i'm okay, a very okay. outside then, oriented then then it, then it does surprise me that you don't think that like sex as a thing that like you know organizes things in our society is useful like i mean i, I do think a lot it's of an illusion day to day what? i think it's an illusion what? i think uh, that 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 people <laughs> people think sorcery sex yeah, seriously. I mean, social sorcery, if you want to call it that. We can we can we can talk about things in more fantastical terms if you'd prefer. But uh, I think that uh, 
I think that people think that they're talking about sex, but as we just uh, uh, you know demonstrated when I when I talked to you about it just a second ago, you don't actually know the sex of any of the people that you've involved with. I don't know the actual sex. Well, I, I would of, say that my fact, guesses are like 100% right. Like I'm pretty good at guessing. Maybe, but you don't know. And I'd nobody say most knows. People are good at and so like I said, you're operating on an illusion. For all you know, I don't know if you've ever had a girlfriend or whatever, or if you do, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not trying to burn you or anything. I'm just saying. You hey, don't Hey, that know. was the other thing. You called me like an incel cuck. It's like I'm, I've been talking to this girl for like a few months. What? Oh, I mean, that was just me getting getting a little bit back at you for uh, being an asshole. So maybe. I never called so, you an incel cuck. Hurt, what are you talking about? Sorry if that hurt about? your feelings. Oh, come on. Shut the fuck up. Don't, don't be a bitch. You were shit talking. You got shit talk back. Just because I got you with a few good zingers doesn't mean that you can whine about it now when you fired the first shot. You fired the first shots at my nice little video. So don't even try. Fucking own it, man. Come on. Don't be a bitch. God damn. That's how I feel. Anyway, listen. Uh, 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 what I was trying to say here is that no one actually knows the sex of the people that they're, that they're engaging with. We don't do chromosome tests. We operate on an illusion. We make a guess. And we can be wrong. Sometimes we are. Um, and this becomes especially important to trans people, uh, where people make all kinds of assumptions about us and are wrong all the time. Now, we aren't a big, uh, a, a, a huge percentage of the population. We're about one to 1.5 percent of the world population, which is still a lot of people, by the way. Uh, uh, one a one hundredth of the entire world is a lot of people. Um, True. So that is a lot of people. And, well, you think uh, it's an illusion? Like, like I, I just don't know if that's like okay. So you said like you admitted it's this an illusion. Is your point. You admitted that's true. Well, you don't know the sex no, of any of the people you engage no, with. You could he, guess, but you don't know. Well, okay. and you're never so, going so, so to. Is, you're never the... going to be able to carry around a blood tester, and no one is going to let you test their chromosomal sex. The truth is, <laughs> what matters to you, if you want to be completely honest, what matters to you is your assumptions about their gender, not their sex. You don't ever actually chromosome. You never will. I can call your bluff on this. I know that no one's going to go around chromosome testing people. No one cares about your sex. What they care about in our society is well, your mean, gender, well, no, what you matters. appear like. Well, it's, it's about, well, well, yeah, and that's largely due to your genetics, regardless of how much like aesthetic differences you want to make. Like if you want to paint your nails, you want to do this, you want to do that, that's all fine. But I'm saying like, at disagree, the end of the day, okay. it, is, it is biology, it is genetics, it is all encompassing. It's what matters the most. It, uh, no, I strong. It, oh, I so disagree with you on that. Come on, man. Don't be, don't be like a Jordan Peterson guy. You really think genetics is what matters most in the world? No, no, you no, no I'm, saying, at, I'm saying compared to the other thing. Compared, compared to aesthetics. To, compared to aesthetics? Do you really I think, think aesthetics, aesthetics matter more than genetics? Oh, 100%. What the? A thousand, a thousand what the? Percent. What the hell? Oh, no, no. All right, look. I see that we're getting to the end of your attention span, so we'll probably wrap it here soon. But let me just explain real quick. My piano here, I chose that because of aesthetics. The, the lights in my background, chosen because of aesthetics. My clothes, aesthetics. My glasses are a mixture, a need, a genetic need that is being... Uh, filtered through aesthetics. I need glasses, but I chose these glasses because they look cool. Uh, my hair, Wait, wait, hold aesthetics. on, that's actually perfect. Hold on, can I please say one thing, one thing, one thing. Okay, you need glasses. That's because of genetics. That's because of, of, of some genetic predisposition to your eyes, you know, needing glasses. That matters okay, more actually, than the type actually, of glasses you need, or the type of glasses you want. Well, what? Uh, yeah, 100%. But, but, wait, you wait, needing wait, wait, glasses wait, wait. matters on, more on, on. than if you get Gucci or Prada glasses. You're missing the point. What I'm saying is, is you were making a claim that genetics matters more in everything. There are obviously some things where genetics matters a lot. Like, for example, uh, if if I found out that I was genetically predisposed to have cancer, that would be pretty important. But I think True. that by and large, I would say that by and large in our lives, most of what we do has a lot more to do with our aesthetics. And more importantly, uh, not just aesthetics, but how, of, about, but about what our society says that certain aesthetics say about us. Like I said, every decision in this room, uh, with the exception of my actual prescription frames, which if we're going to be really funny, if you want to be really, if we want to be really accurate about it, I actually need my glasses because of uh, like chronic eye, uh, like eye exhaustion. Like there, it's not actually a genetic thing. I have, per I had perfect vision. All right, well, but a I lot of people on a computer do. For, a lot of people. But, yes, the many so people whatever. do. But what I'm saying is, is that the majority of the things in our society are have nothing to do with our genetics. The cars we choose, the 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 house that we choose, the types of foods that we like. Yeah, but um, you mentioned are, cancer. 
I brought up cancer as an example of one thing that where genetics matters more. But you were making the argument that genetics is is like one of the most important things in our existence, and I just yeah. don't think it cancer is. Cancer matters, yeah. You, you sure, agree, cancer no? matters. I, I'm not saying that it doesn't. I, I think you're missing the overall point. Most of what we do is Perhaps. social. Humans are social animals more than anything else. We don't make decisions about each other based on our genetics. We make decisions w about one another because of social things, whether we agree on things, whether we like certain uh, video games the same, whether we have similar political opinions, which are undeniably social. These are all social and aesthetic in many cases. We hang out with people who we, whose, whose vibe we like, which is an aesthetic check. It's not genetics. We, we like certain things because they remind us of other things because of our yeah. life experiences. So these are just, all things yeah. that are social and aesthetic that are not genetic. So right. and I, I, and I, just, I, and I agree that everything that you just mentioned is less important than like every genetic thing that could happen to you that would affect your life in a drastic way. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I just think I think we're miss. I think there's a, a missed connection happening here. Uh, what what you, like? Uh, okay, not everyone is going to genetically get cancer. Let's take True. two people, right? Okay, let's pretend we're going to do a thought experiment here. You have Can one guy. Them? You have what's that? Sure. Yeah, All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do Jeff and um and Susie. How about that? Jeff and Susie. All right, Jeff and Susie. There you go. So Jeff and Susie, <laughs> both of them. Uh, do not have genetic predisposition toward, towards cancer, Alzheimer's, or anything like that. Their life is not going to be, in, the, in our thought experiment, we can agree that their life is not going to be thrown off the edge because of de genetic decisions. Instead, the direction of their life is going to have to do with their choices, the things that they enjoy, the music that they in indulge in, the food that they like, the people that they hang out with social things right you can yeah. like i'm not arguing I, I this is where i think the connect misconnection was like i'm not arguing that genetics can't have a big impact on your life or that it doesn't i do think that they do and can but i think that for the vast majority of us for most of our lives we are preoccupied with social concerns uh and therefore in many cases aesthetic concerns especially in our society uh, which is very image focused. We live in a very image focused society. I think you can agree yeah. with that, with the popularity I mean, I, of YouTube and Instagram. I, don't know. I mean, and stuff this like is just that. a tough one. And I mean, I don't know. I, I just think the genetics thing matters the most. Like, I've met, I've, I've been friends with, uh, I remember I had a friend for a while and I moved, but he had diabetes and he had to like, like constantly like check this. Uh, I don't even know what it was. I think it was like his blood sugar and he had like a blood sugar. Like a, yep. Like a, he carried around like this thing. It kind of looked like a Tamagotchi. It just had like a constant thing going on. Yeah, and sure. It was just but do, you, do you? And that was a huge imperative on his life. And I agree. Like, yes, that's he had a true, great personality. Do, and yes, do, he, you know, he. Yes, see, that's the thing. You don't. Right, but, I, I'm sure you remember that as a part of him and something that he had to deal with. But I imagine that probably you remember that friend more for the times that you spent together, the jokes that you made, the things that you did, maybe right. even the video games that you played. So those sure, social but, aspects almost always went out for us. That's like how humans more or less are we are super social animals so what i'm trying to say is all of this like i said we're starting to get to the point where uh we probably should call call it quits for the night uh i gotta i gotta fucking I wrap this stream here soon because i gotta eat some dinner but uh but but i hope you can understand what i'm trying to point out here at the very wait, wait, how much even if you don't 100 you agree uh uh i mean i can go i can go for another 30 minutes if you want but 30 minutes okay i, mean, I, I don't, don't i don't want to take too much of your time well, we'll, no, we'll, we'll call like we'll do like another ten. All right, cool. Okay. So, okay, sure. We, I don't think you disagree that genetics are important. Whatever. Okay, so I want to. Where, where we we talk about so many things. I, I don't. We think did this talk about a lot of things. Bad. I thought it was useful, but no, I, I thought it was really thing. good. I was actually really impressed. I hope that I hope that you will at least like, it, it, I, as a gesture of good faith, I hope that you will think on some of the things that I said here longer, uh, and maybe. Uh, you know, I don't care if you, I literally don't care. You don't have to retract your video or anything like that. I roasted you for the video. We're, we're even on that front, but I hope you'll at least, you know, sure. think about these things and maybe, you know, consider how they might affect your life. Cause I'm, um, you know, at least in my experience, I have a lot of conversations about stuff like this with people. And sometimes it really changes their perspective on the world. And sometimes you might even find things that are like, wow, this actually does kind of suck. Well, it's, okay, so so I I, I can I, I can conceptualize your perspective. I just think that at the end of the day, I, I view things a lot from like the, the 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 grand scheme, the bigger picture, in the sense of like how like we're all gears in a system to some extent, right? Always, right? 
Yeah, um, I would. I think that's true. But I think that how like we we are gear. We are all pieces of a system. But whether we choose to be a gear or 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 you know something else is up to us. Like I don't like. I don't just play by rules just because they exist. Personally, yeah. I, I mean, a lot of people. Am, yeah, of course, right. Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe I, I'm specifically talking about like like just like a like a like a big thing, right? Like yes, like obviously on, on like a small level, and even on a big level, people are gonna do things that like you know for good or for worse, like make them or separate them from the norm, right? Like people do crimes, people do horrible things, that you know makes them different. People do, people small do lots things, of good like, they things too. Nails, yeah. They do, yeah, of course, right? Yeah. The the whole point is that like I'm talking about like we have a lot of things in in our society that 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 set up things to operate a certain way and i think a lot of people in in like the the left wing sphere that you you you're probably a part in have mm -hmm. a lot of um they take a lot of time to try to combat like very specific or maybe they would think they're big like parts of these systems that they think does harm and i think that like sure. yes there is some things that can definitely be looked at like of course like i think a big one is probably like criminal justice system like that's a big part of like our society and I definitely agree. you know pr produces bad results but then we have things like men and women women's clothing stores or like autism gender and i i have yeah. to wonder it's like does the fact that like these big systems of how most people i would say and this is i guess sure you know purely from my life view things like gender and view things like autism and view the way that these words their interplay and all of that sort of stuff they don't need to be challenged, I think. And then ah, there's a phrase see. that is that but that there's, there's something use. here, which is that uh, uh, th there's something here that that is interesting, which is that 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 those were your examples that you brought up. You were the what one examples? who was most most sort of preoccupied on women, men's and women's clothing stores. I was talking about lar the the bigger issues of gender. And in fact, in my original right, video, in a good way, I mentioned the men's and women's, right. women's stores in a good way, like how they the good they operate in the system with. Yeah, but and what I was saying was I I disagreed with you on those, but that wasn't my thing that you br that I brought forward. Those were yours that you brought forward, and I was addressing them because I was having a conversation with you. But if you go and you look at my content, most of what I do is not talk about men and women's clothing stores. In fact, I don't really care about that at all. It's one of the least important things to me. I just recognize well, I mean, you did how kind of rant about in. pockets for like fifteen minutes. Uh, I ranted about pockets to make a point to you. Okay, and then the underwear like, thing as well. Whatever. Okay, fine. Your content. Sure. Yeah, like, man, uh, bro, what? It, that was for you, man. Like, if you go look at my content about gender, I've done, I mean, my biggest, my biggest gender-related content that I've done uh, recently is a video that is titled, uh, This Should Concern You. And it's a video about... Um, the ongoing, uh, what I believe to be a, a a rising genocide towards trans people in the United States of America. It's a pretty serious issue for me. And the reason why I believe that to be the case <laughs> is because the uh, there's, there's, I lay out a whole case for it. You can watch that video if you want to. It's very, very, yeah. it's, the situation for trans people in the United States is fucking terrible. It's very important yeah. to me. Yeah. Of course, so. yeah, I understand that. I don't know. You, you, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, not, I'm just, I'm reading your chat. They have me all, okay? They've profiled me. I don't like it. Well, okay. I mean, to be fair, like certain things, like scoffing at when I say that I've made a very serious video. No, no, about, I wasn't scoffing uh, at you. I was yeah. reading chat. I swear, I wasn't. Uh, okay, okay, all right. It's well, like, they it's might like, not I, interpret it interpret it that way. I so. understand. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I want to clarify that. No, I understand. Like it's important. But yeah. I wasn't scoffing. So like, was just like, like this is not a like my my approach to gender generally is not a small issue thing. Once in a while, I will do a video like the one that you kind of jumped on there, uh, where I'm talking about something, but. Part of the reason why I do that video is because I have a larger goal in mind. My larger goal being people need to think more critically about gender because yeah, and that's just where uh, I disagree. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I mean, you're that's part of why I made the video. Is, is, is the whole thing is, is I think it's it, I think critical thinking applies in a lot of in in a lot of healthy circumstances, which I think parts of the left political wing have done, you know, uh, extensive thinking on, like you know, like I mentioned, criminal justice system and a lot of economic things for sure. But I think when it comes down to like like gender, right? And now we're trying to do autism gender. Well, I think but, it really boils no one, down no, to no, no, just no, being don't, not Don't do that it like that. Like we're the trying thing. to do autism gender. No, some people have explained yeah, themselves people. a certain way, and there were people on the internet giving them shit. And I took the time out of my day to to make a nine minute, pretty short video to understand it, to stop people from having the reaction that you did. So like, you kind of proved my point, which is that like, like, 
people react really stupidly to a concept that they don't know anything about and they get all up in hackles. They, they act very snowflakey about it when instead yeah. of just going, huh, this is something I didn't understand. Wow, some people have found some use in this. It's not right, like there's a critical you, you, you use this language. Well, well, you, you use this language like, oh, we're doing autism gender now. No, what is that supposed to mean? You're making like a thing like somebody's trying to impose. Nobody's trying to do that. Also, your commenters did this a lot. I looked through the comments and they were all like, no one's going to tell me to be autism gender. And like, no one did ever not even not even my well, no, video had i mean aren't to do you, with that. you you literally just said critically think about this sort of stuff like they don't nobody wants to do that critically well, think well, about things that, that deserve the, critical thinking autism wait, that, but i i believe it does deserve critical thinking if exactly. people are and that's why i made that I, video i don't but, think it does and i but, i well, and that's but, why i think okay, like but you're a bunch a of memes in the who video. cares like who fucking oh. cares you're some random Mar minecrafter guy like why should anybody give a shit about your opinion like you know what i mean like that's such a silly thing to say like oh you shouldn't I mean, do you think, think people critically... should give a shit about your opinion like what are you saying yeah i do and i think that okay. people do in fact i have 400 concurrent free viewers right now of people who do give a shit about my opinion and the reason why they right. give a shit about my opinion is because I take my time and I actually think about things deeply instead of just hand waving them in a, I'll say, a little bit of a childish manner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, because you know, I mean, it's kind uh, of a... I mean, you can critically think about like uh, anything. It doesn't mean that sure. it's like, like what? Obviously. Well, but okay, but are you? You're trying to me little that... bro me by saying like, well, I actually have 400 something people in the stream right now. It's like, okay, sick, awesome. But like, what is like, that doesn't mean your opinion is worth more than mine. What the fuck? Uh, I never said it was worth more than yours. You I literally did. You were... Hold on. No, no, no. You hold literally on, hold said, on. who cares what some fucking dumb Minecrafter has to say? Like, that's what yeah, you said. Yeah, because, because you said you made the idea, you, you made the claim that we shouldn't talk about something, that we shouldn't talk about something that's affecting people. And why does, why does your, what expertise or what value do you have as a Minecraft tr streamer to claim what anyone should or shouldn't talk about? I didn't say like, you uh, hold on. You well, did. You, you did. You said, "Why on, should we critical on. think about this?" It's kind of yeah. silly. It's like it's like a very anti-intellectual position. It's like yeah, for I, certain I'm things, not, bro. Like, well, you don't think it's important, but uh, but some people do, and also it is. If you listen to my video, as I explain in the video, I think <sighs> that it plugs into larger issues that are important. When people are like mocking people for using a term that is a that is a that is a big that's a thing that happens all the time especially fucking especially in on like online culture people laugh first and then they think second and i think that's a really shitty way of living your life i think it leads people to make very stupid decisions to just immediately react with like that's so dumb before ever thinking about it it took nine minutes for me to explain the entire concept that's not a whole lot of time in people's lives but a lot of other people approach the concept that i was talking about autism gender and immediately just said that's fucking dumb they never took any time which you know what sure if you really want to do that that's fine but i don't think that that's valuable i think it's more valuable to take a little bit of time and try to understand someone's perspective okay, well, and then you might actually valuable? walk why away is it learning. valuable wait why is it valuable because wait, hold on do you not think some people have fucking stupid perspectives like what that was the yeah, entire that, that was, wait that, wait i that, absolutely that was, that was the entire premise of my video is it's like yeah it's like okay someone someone brought up something that is like it's it's silly, right? And the, the the wording specifically used is completely silly. Okay, but you but you but, okay, but let's be real, bro. Let's be real. Let's not, I'm putting in memes let's not in my fucking video. fake. You gave the, in this entire conversation. We've had a very long conversation. You never gave a good reason for why you thought that 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 word didn't make any sense. In fact, your argument was I, I've was said patently it five certain. times, dude. You've said it five times, and it still doesn't, and it didn't make any sense. If when people go back and watch this, they're gonna hear you say that it doesn't make any sense because you think that gender is aesthetic, but you. You, and then also two seconds later, you say that I don't think gender means anything. And then I point yes, out. Yes, because, okay, and now we're going uh, back it's to that. Like yeah, because, because you never answered it. I always said aesthetic. I don't think it means shit. Well, uh, then I guess why do you care? If it, if it doesn't mean anything to you, then why do you care? Care about what? Why do you care about me talking about it? If it means something to me, but it doesn't mean something to you. Why would you care what? about me talking about it? What's well, a free if video. It doesn't, well, yeah, it is true. It's a free video. So is mine. Okay. So why I mean, so, so, <laughs> anybody can say that? That's a nothing. That's a that's a thought terminating cliche. It's a free speech. It's a free speech, man. Sure, what? it's free speech. And like <laughs> just, you no, said, it's, it's just content. Like you said something silly. 
I made a video calling it silly. I put okay. memes in And there. then you came here. And I made some points. And in and, your video yeah. and here, you failed to make it appear to be silly. And I have spent the last two hours. Well, we never, we never was, even spoke about the etymology. I, we had some. We don't need to problems. because I we was do. able to. I was able to prove in this conversation that my entire chat is a, has been able to see and that thousands of other people will inevitably That's see. Really I was able okay. to get you to admit, and you didn't even notice you were doing it, but I was able to get you to admit that actually the concept does make sense. Yeah, the you concept. Were just being, I'm talking about the yeah, words. Yeah, you were just, and the word made sense too. It was super no. easy. It took me less than a minute. It took me less than five minutes to explain to you what I meant by that, you which is exactly what the original video the etymology, did. So did, you... did you not? You are really not good at this. I told you that I don't think the etymology has anything to do with what we were talking about at the moment. Do you want to talk okay, about you, the etymology you, you... now? Well, okay, so. Autism gender, that's the word, that's the phrase, autism gender, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that in itself is implying, and I, bro, I, I already said this in my video, like, I don't know why I'm repeating myself, but this is like, you're, you're implying that autism is a, is a factor that operates within the male-female spectrum. And we talked about, we talked about this briefly with the attack. Oh, uh, no, thing no, you're, you're, oh, dude, come on. I did not say that. That is not something that I said. I did not say that gender operates on the male field, male spectrum. You said that. That's your yeah, idea that I you're projecting that. Yeah, yeah. onto me. Did I say you said that? I didn't say that. I yeah. Say like, that you said that. So, so this isn't etymology either. You've, you've, you've gone to a different argument. We aren't talking about etymology. No, 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 I just told no, no. I'm, I'm getting, you. just I'm said getting... you wanted to talk about etymology. Then I said talk about the etymology. And you immediately just didn't talk about the etymology, dude. Right. Just okay, admit no, it. I'm like, saying... come on, autism gender, it does actually make sense. If you think about it for two seconds, you thought it was cringe oh, to word, begin with, bro. and you kind of flew off the handle about it. But in truth, it actually does kind of make sense. It does make sense to you. You admitted it earlier on in this conversation, bro, and it actually no, does concept, make sense. The concept, the concept, which you, you have to explain every time. But, about but the, the word, word autism But the gender. word is also, wait, the word is also very apparent. Autism, nah. gender. They believe their gender okay, is heavily right. affected like by autism. Analogy. It seems pretty straightforward. Maybe, maybe it's not etymology. Maybe I'm using that word wrong. Maybe you are. Etymology usually refers to where a word's like sourced from. Like so, like for example, logos is a oh, term. It's probably that linguistics we use. then. That's probably the right way of putting it. Sure, but regardless, like I don't think that you managed to 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 pull together. Well, well, an you're, I mean, all your chat agrees with me because they're because you and them are, are using these specific definitions of gender that most people that are in my audience, which is much larger, don't use. So, it, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's video, true. Video, I don't think we're using any sort of specific well. de definition of gender. I just think yeah, that you said it's aesthetics, uh, which is not. What no, I said I said no, I, I said specifically that gender is mostly aesthetics. Uh, but okay. I think that most people don't think about gender very much. And I think that if you, if I was to take most people in your audience and do exactly what I did with you here, sit down and have a conversation with them, and I ask them some questions, they would be they would start to agree with my position more than they originally thought. And the reason for that is because they don't usually think about gender. Most people, when they think about gender, all they think about is, oh, what does it say on the on the target? Yeah, sign? exactly. I mean, you, you're yeah, really but, just repeating what I said. Is that like that's the entire point? Is you think, but, oh, it's so but awesome. That doesn't like, matter. That's like it saying, does matter. Like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Really? No, no, no. Do you think that? Do you, do you think that, uh, let me give an example of this. Most people, when they say, uh, I'm going to the store to get some gas, um, and then do they, do you think that like, uh, you know, that do, do, do you think that it's not valuable for a scientist to be able to talk about the various types of petroleum and also to talk about gas in a different ton context that in, in colloquial language, gas means going to the store and buying gasoline, but in, but in other contexts, gas means a gas, a, 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 a aerosol or not an aerosolized, but a, you know, a, a type of matter like. You're just all you're talking about. All you're saying here is that some people in your audience only think that gender means men and women's room and men and women's clothing store. And what I'm pointing out is that my video is specifically going into a much deeper interpretation, not a different interpretation, but a deeper interpretation in a different context. Yeah, you're just unwilling to engage with it. And so is yeah, most of your audience. It, cause unfortunately. It, yeah, because it's yeah, because it's lame. It's like a waste of time. I think like no, no well, one's going to adopt this sort of stuff. I mean, uh, you're literally blatantly wrong about that. 
And the reason why, the way, the reason why you're blatantly okay, wrong show about me that the autism is because restroom. is because we're talking right now about this topic. So if if it is true that no one cares about this and no one gave and no one is uh and no one is ever going to adopt it, then I have a, a shocking thing for you. You're in a dream, my friend. This whole conversation has never really happened. Am I adopting it? I guess uh, I guess I am oh, adopting no. it. I'm literally I mean, not. Like, what are you talking it's about? It's kind of weird. It is kind of funny. By by um by like by like making a video on something like that, you do kind of spread it further. But I will say that actually, yes, people do adopt. I mean, it. if it's that's how like, you want to view it, as all publicity is good publicity. Go. For I mean, it. I you got I, pretty I mad at it, all so I can't good. assume that I mean, you were pretty happy. You were like, hey, no, you I, I don't. I, I don't think I was okay. mad at. it. I think it was funny. No, you, no, you was, were. You call me like a I mean, fucking incel cuck. Like that seemed pretty. I mean, you kind of behaved a little bit like a fucking incel cuck. I'm sorry about that, but you kind of do a little bit, and it's kind of lame. Like you could be, okay. I don't know. You this conversation's been mostly fun and fine. Like, like you you kind of yeah, have I'm, like a I, like you, not... you kind of have like a you have like a like a shadow the hedgehog type like <laughs> kind of thing going on at most times. Which you, you know, know I feel like you'd you be. Cut out, I you feel cut like. Out. Oh, sorry. I said. I said you have kind of like a Shadow the Hedgehog kind of like hey, kind of thing going on. You know, you've got a you got that kind of thing going on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a little bit of like I'm too edgy to think about things. Which you know, if you want to no, be dumb, no. What are you it's talking? Fine. I'm talking about this one specific. Issue. No, that's just not true. I, I literally engage I with know, people man. all the time on like on sure. like you know thinking critically on all sorts of things. I just think yeah, this is sure. fucking silly. Well, that's like, fine, but I think you're wrong about that. And I think this conversation itself kind of shows that you uh, that you may have jumped the gun a little bit because we actually had a very productive conversation the moment you were willing to like not Yeah, when not we talked about other reaction. things. When we talked like, No, we didn't. We actually specifically talked you about understand? exactly that. Most of that. this conversation was not autism gender. You... Um, what's that? He hello? Okay, most of this sorry, conversation sorry, broke wasn't autism gender. You know that, right? Well, yeah, because you wanted to you wanted to go into other things. You wanted to understand what I meant by gender and what I was talking about, and I feel like that was quite productive. Super um, immature, bro. I'm 19. What the fuck? Well, I mean, not listen, you. Sorry. Do, hey, don't be chat. don't like, be ageist you... to yourself. Don't be ageist to yourself. There are lots of 19 year olds who are super mature. Uh, uh, you don't want to. You don't want to. You know, That's don't facts. do don't I mean, do the other 19 year old dirty. I guess I guess if if I'm immature in the sense if I'm not going to engage with autism gender, then okay, fucking oh, well, guilty. Well, what I'm trying to say here, all I'm trying to say, and what I was trying to say in my original video, which I don't think that my original video was like uh, aggressive or I wasn't mocking anybody at all. I, my original video was literally just sort of patiently explaining a concept to people who asked me. If you actually go and watch the video, you even you even brought attention to it. At the beginning, that video was cut out of a larger live stream. Somebody asked me about it in chat. That's why I went on about it. So um, yeah, so like you reacted to that rather, uh, let's just say you did seem a little triggered. Um, and- uh, I was just having fun I, to be honest. Well, all right. I mean, then what I would recommend to you is, you know, maybe think a little first. There are probably things yeah. that are worth your time, worth making fun of more than that. And also, I don't know. I note mean, the there's fact, a lot of things that note I think the fact, can think note the fact I mean, like, I watched, that you I came into this conversation like, and learned a lot. Yeah, I mean, it was a good discussion, yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't... So there you go. Really change so it seems, it seems that my way of sort of going through things with a just a tiny drop of patience is a little more effective than your way of mocking something you don't understand. That's all I'm trying to point out here. I'm trying well, to point I, out that knee-jerk reactions of mocking something you don't understand is not no, always the best No, I actually, approach. I mean, I actually totally understand what you're trying to do with the autism gender thing and what other people that you, or I shouldn't say you're trying to do, but the people that you're promoting, um, what they're trying to do with it. I, I fully understand what it is. I just, again, like for like the 50th time, I think it's silly. I've explained why I think it's silly. Huh. And everybody in my audience uh, seems to think it's silly. Like the 30, 40,000 people that saw it agree. I mean, yeah, it's... All right, well, there you go. So uh, uh, maybe, uh, I, I'm glad that you've come to the conclusion that I mean, that you're, like, you're, you're right about the concept thing. Like, I, I don't know why... Well, thank the, you. The concept should matter more, I, I think. Um, because then, the, the, then finding... Well, but like... how do you talk about a concept without having a word for that concept? Like, exactly, how so the find fuck better you... words. What, what, what would you... Here, give me one. Um, shit, I mean, I don't... I mean, I'm not autistic, so I don't know if this would be good for me. Yeah, but you've been talking so much about how I need a bigger, bigger better word. Do you know how many... Do you know how many words aren't like the perfect fit, fit for other things? Like, come on. I think, I think, Let's well, yeah, real. and there's, there's a reason why autism gender hasn't...
mainstream for sure. I agree with you on that. Well, it's not. It's never going to hit mainstream, and the reason why it's never going to hit it's mainstream. A word. No, the reason why it's never going to hit mainstream is because autistic people make up a small percentage of the population. But that doesn't mean that it, that, they, that what they say and and what some of them say doesn't matter. Well, so do trans people, and trans people have more have, have had more of an impact on the large than autistic. Well, yeah, people. but that's because that's because. But that's because there's different things being talked about when you're talking about trans tra transgender versus autism autism gender. These are two different. They are they are connected concepts, but they are different. Autistic uh, people who are talking about autism gender aren't talking about the same things that trans people are. When trans people are talking about tra being transgender, there's a lot of other things involved. There's things like hormones. There's things like bathrooms. There's all these different things. Autistic, autism gender, it doesn't have anything to do with any of those things. It's a smaller concept and therefore a little okay, bit well, easier to understand. Okay. okay, well then honestly, just say the concept instead of the word like, because it's so niche, like like you said, it's like okay. Well, well I'm I just don't agree with you. Person. I just think we should be less. I think we should be less fragile about words. I think we should listen to a word and go. I don't know what that means. Let me find out what it means, and then we should just move on with our lives. And go. Oh, okay. Now I learned something new, and I can talk about something else. Apple is a silly. Name. That's the way that I look at it. All okay. right. Well, let's well, wrap it go, here. So. This is as good of a spot. Yeah. yeah, this is a good spot to to wrap up. Uh, hey, Cheeto, uh, thanks for coming on and engaging me in the arena of ideas. Uh, I, I was pleasantly surprised by the conversation we were able to have, even though I'm sure we still have some disagreements. Yeah, um, for sure. I mean, yeah. Well, you know, I don't. And 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 um, I should probably do this more. I don't know if like people from my audience went and like spam disliked your video. Like, I don't, I don't want that to happen. I mean, yeah, sure it does. Do, but, like, let you know, me, let me I'll tell you, to... I did get a surge of some people who were basically going, uh, I, I described them as yeah. the uh, so Reddit I... lolol face. I did get some of those, but I don't really care. Uh, trust me, yeah. I have dealt, so I, 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 I always, I always, I don't know if you know, people. you mentioned Destiny earlier, but Destiny and I have a bit of a bloody history. Uh, so I have dealt with a lot more people, a lot more negative attention than your community. So don't worry about it at all. You're, you're, your, your people are fine. Yeah. No, I just wanted to say, just like, you know, sorry for that, because that always happens. And, um, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Um, you know, uh, I guess that's that. So, all, all right. Well, up. hey, you, you have a good night. Thanks for coming on and talking to us. All right. All right. Peace Bye. out. Bye for now. Well, everyone, that was a, was that not a pleasant surprise? Was that not a, a, a surprisingly interesting conversation? There was a lot of things we didn't agree on, but actually I thought that was, I thought that was fun. Okay, I had a good time with that. I had a very good time with that. I like debate. I told you this. I like debate, okay? All right. <laughs>